I'm creaking. All right. That's a pretty fucking good intro, don't you think? I would concur. That's it. It's just rock. Welcome to Beer Googles, everybody. Double O, double G. Episode one. Episode uno. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, et cetera. That's the way it is. Good night. That's the way it's going to be. Because we haven't done it yet, right? I guess it's not the way it is until you do it. Past tense. So, my friend. Yes, sir. We've decided to fuck around and do this thing. After many After, moons of discussion. Jeez, 52 fucking years. <laughs> you look good. You look better. You look good for <laughs> You look better. I like that you dressed up for the event. <clears throat> very fancy. <clears throat> Attire. Yes. Very. Get that. Get that. Uh, folded over sweat collar uh, straight now. <clears throat> yes. Do you have that problem with t-shirts? I've got fat neck. Uh, and it just folds them over and makes the weird creasy thing. Occasionally, yes. Yes. Yeah, but is that... <laughs> So I like so I like V's and the the scoop neck. Okay. I, Good for you. Thanks for thanks for joining us. <laughs> uh, well, this has been episode one. It's the only one we're gonna have apparently. So you came to me a week ago, two weeks ago. Yeah, whatever. Lay it down for me. What what uh, what what drove this whole thing? Uh, a coworker of mine, a friend in uh, her thirties, said. She does not like 80s music. And I was appalled by this statement. And, and I thought, okay, she's in her 30s, millennial, etc. So it's not her fault. Yeah. Right? She just wasn't exposed to the music, etc. So I thought if I would speak with someone that's younger or not familiar with the decade, how would I define the decade? What are the quintessential 80s songs in the mind of each of the people that grew up in the decade, that come of, come of age in the decade. Say born in the 70s, but... Yeah. Teenage years. Yes. Uh, junior, junior high, high absolutely school. Absolutely right. Also had a brother or sister that was three years older or three years younger that you influenced. Correct. Yeah. And and the, 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 the question is, what are the three quintessential 80s songs in your mind that are not pop? Meaning what are... So Madonna cannot be on the list. Prince... You mentioned Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, well. obviously. So Beat It is a massive song. Thriller is a mass. You know, that album was groundbreaking. So that Those can't define be the, the artist, not the decade. Well, that's, but when you think the about thing. the 80s, you're like, oh, Michael Jackson, Madonna. Right, you do, absolutely. So there's four or five artists, Wham! with George Michael. There's four or five artists that really define the decade. But there's quite a few other types of music, types of genres. And I said, okay, regardless of genre, what three songs whether it's 80 through 89 are the quintessential songs that define the decade, not your favorite songs. Cause I would go in one direction and that's not fair because my, my tendencies go towards one type of music. Right. Yeah. They so, go by your taste and your popularity correct, for you. Correct. So, and that's not the same for everyone. What is the object? What is your objective opinion as three quintessential songs that define the decade, regardless of genre or when that came out, when that song became popular or came to, the forefront of the most like the American music scene, whether right. it's rap or metal or the pop, UK, even other pop. Yes. I mean, there was pop. UK was a big massive. The UK, the, uh, the new wave sound. So whether it's th those and even artists, punk coming out of yes, out of seventies, absolutely, and some disco that influenced the eighties as well. Yeah. So I asked 12, 13 people, and I compiled the list. And I gave everyone, some people responded within three minutes. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, whoa, okay, cool. That, that's great. And some people, I gave them three or four days. And I took four days because I went back. I, first thing in my mind was video killed the radio star. Like, oh, that's obvious. That's came out 82, 83, right when MTV was coming out, the first video on the MTV. First, yeah. So not only was the song groundbreaking but the video i mean mtv changed the what it world. meant it, it was the 80s Absolutely. remember mtv was the 80s because it changed in the 90s Absolutely. It didn't, it wasn't what it initially well, was. The now, real world. Right. Model, the real world. Yeah. As they added more content and programming that, uh, you know, what's it scheduled programming, they call it whatever to lock in that market, mm -hmm. that mu music video part went away. Right. And 
so that happened in the 90s. So the 80s is when MTV was MTV. It, it was MTV. Technically, they should not be called MTV. Right. And Starting when the real world was released in the 89. It would have been 90s, 90s early 90s, yeah, early mid 90s. Correct. Even. And what's interesting about that is um, Adam Curry was a VJ. He was. He actually is credited with coining the term podcast. I don't know if you know that. I did not. Yeah. Huge into this uh, technologically, technologically advanced stuff. Started, I think he was either the first and or second podcaster ever. And he credits someone else with the podcast thing, but uh, Joe Rogan just had him on. Uh, maybe it's one of the 1440 some episodes. Look up JRE Adam Curry. That dude, it, he's, he understands it. He started with this whole thing and he wanted to take it away from the corporations. And now it's become that. And he's like, I don't like a you know check mark next to my Twitter name because I'm in the system. Then I don't want to be in the system. I didn't know I what that check mark meant. Be now. outside the uh, system. You can't get them anymore. They stopped doing it. I didn't even know what it meant. I used to be it, verified. I didn't someone know it can't meant. be you. Like Chris Peralta one. I take Chris Peralta one and I start tweeting as you. Oh, and you stole right. a picture of me. Yep. Oh, real, so it's unverifiable scene. versus ver okay. Yeah. So a lot of times, like Graham Hancock's one of my big. Uh, I like him. Graham Hancock. We're going to definitely talk about him later. But, uh, and I think we've even discussed him before, but he's like Graham underscore Hancock because someone took Graham Hancock before he got on, right? So someone could easily pose as that person. So the verified thing was interesting. It makes sense. I mean, and, but then they took, took it away. So, or they stopped verifying, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Cause I think I tried to get verified. But it's like Visa. I would love to see a check mark by your name. I'd like to see a, Check next to me. Have you heard of the you band? Like this. I am Check. Hello. My name is Dmitri. And like, I have four to looking for sitting next to is Mark. That I am Check. Or is that Russian? I am a Check Mark. I could be Check. I am oh, technically right now. Oh my God. I am a Check Mark. I am officially my own verifi verified Check Mark. You're your own country. I can drink vodka. I can ride nuclear vessels. Wichter, Wichter, seven, seven, Wichter, Wichter, nine. Hockey. E e evacuation <laughs> protocol computer. Uh, okay, so that's, that's enough of the chat. Have you heard of the band Volbeat? VOL Beat. Familiar, but no. Uh, I'm going to have to say no. They're, uh, mus it, there's kind of a hard nickelback. Is my description. You can. God, that just turns me off right away. You're welcome. And so, it's like the nickelback of nickelback. <laughs> It's correct. So uh, I don't care for them. The music I like a lot, but the lead singer, I want to punch in the throat. So yesterday I thought we were talking about Volbeat on the golf course. I don't know why. I saw them once. They opened for a band. I don't, and I, I, please, Volbeat, please stop talking. So. Please stop talking. Volbeat, Volbeat, please stop talking. Or you stop talking about Volbeat. Are you talking to yourself? At this point, both. <laughs> so I thought, hey, if I ever join Twitter, my Twitter handle could be fuck Volbeat. I like it. I fuck. You could also like Volbeat a dead horse. Right. And There's I don't understand how the lead, uh, the guitarist for Anthrax quit Anthrax to be in Volbeat. I, wow. I, I, I mean, I understand Volbeat has more younger followers. They probably make more money. I, don't, I didn't verify. I don't have a check mark. Oh, you don't have a check mark? <laughs> you couldn't verify that? What the fuck's wrong with me? Maybe man? my Twitter will be fuck <laughs> check marks. <laughs> Stop taking no, you cannot fuck Check Mark. Check Mark is good man. He likes to play this. Anyway, so Volby. Fuck Volby. Fuck Volby. Yes. At fuck Volby. Yes, yeah, me. So next time we want to talk to Christopher, just not tweet that I'm I'm not Volbeat. on Twitter, so I I don't tweet. You're not a twit? Or a twit. I like it's, Twizzlers. Oh, Twizzlers are delicious. But that's it. Twizzlers are red vines. Both. Simultaneously. Yeah. How about a sandwich of the two? Ooh, this is how I see it. Do we need a podcast about candy? Red Vine Star. Candy red cast? Red Vine Straws in Soda. Twizzlers eating on their own. Both. Well, that's what I do. I'm saying Red Vines work well as a straw. Would you use They're Red more Vines open. with a Cherry Coke? Fuck then, yes, <laughs> but only if it's a strawberry And one. then call 91 for your insulin coma? <laughs> I am for looking for diabetic uh, coma, What is please. number for 911? Hey, insulin? I, I don't know. No. Uh, so... <laughs> So now that we had talked about this, uh, Wichter, Wichter 7. Okay, 80s music. Now, 
we went on a tangent as we always do. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Beer Google. Why don't we just call where... it Tangents? That's a great fucking name. You're welcome. I bought the website for 10 years. We're fucking stuck with it, my friend. Why don't you buy Tangents? Because <laughs> I, I just spent money to... Cash money? Yes. Well, well, plastic rectangle, the, the, plastic card with numbers. With the, the, the mag, I can't do the accent. It sounds like a vampire. With the mag stripe. Do you have... <laughs> I want... <laughs> have you ever heard Gilbert Godfrey's gay vampire? <laughs> yeah, I, yes. Many long I want ago. to suck your cock. <laughs> it's fucking best. See, that's a good accent. Huge right Gilbert there. Godfrey. Now, what accent do you do? Not, we're going way off the reservation now. <sighs> Dude, this is you crazy. have one or two of them. Many. Oh, okay. Which one? Well, Scottish. You got great Slurpee. Ready. Oh, boy. That one's going to hurt. <laughs> I mean, uh, you have great. Uh, I'm going to rec- entrepreneurial I need, I need to get accents. Is what I that one's going to hurt. It's going to be my ringtone when you call me. <laughs> Ooh, that one's going to hurt. That one's going to hurt, Bob. I'll send you that at pre cut so you can just throw Please. that onto oh, whatever shit, ringtone you want. Awesome. Oh, man. My, uh, my buddy on another side note, I, as you know, we just make these weird noises and flippity flops throughout the day. And I just, I have, I'm like tripolar. Is that a possible? I could be multiple, right? I could have like dodecahedral. Multipolar. I could be like dodecahedral polar. I could have like 12 personalities, right? I would think so. It's DID. That's right. Disassociative identity disorder where you have like multiple personalities. What do you call multiple personalities? Yeah, but people are bipolar. I'm like tri or quad polar. I don't get polar. I don't even know how polar I am. I've got more than two of them. I can tell you that. Which is impossible because you only have. Well, if it's a ball. You have East and West then? If it's a ball, there's an infinite number of points across the inside of the ball. Correct. So you're, Damn, you're universally polar. Or that's not correct, but um, Pol- could I have a Polaro vaccine, please? Because <laughs> I'd love to turn that shit off. So don't hit your head on the uh, mic. Boom mic, it hurts. Uh, so eighties music. Boom, boom. Good thing you're wearing your safety cap. I know my doctor. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what's interesting about this? I came up with three songs pretty quickly, just going boom, boom, boom. Yes. But then my brain got in the way. I hate it when that happens. And then it got in the way of the one that got in the way, and then it just snowballed. Yes. And it's very interesting, your thought process, because Felicia, one of the the good friends that I've asked the question to, she had the same thought process as you, where she... Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. She divided the decade into three chunks, you know, middle, beginning, and end. And I, my brain didn't do that. And that's exactly, that's where your brain went. And that's where her brain went right away. I went into compartmentalizing more, um, the feel of the decade, right. Or the moments that were important to music. Think about how diverse the eighties actually were. We had, we, we come out of, you know, R and B soul music, all that stuff. In the 60s, right? 70s has classic rock, early classic rock, blah, blah, blah. Then it converts. Then we have, you know, the Clash and Sex Pistols, punk, right? Late 70s into the early 80s. We've got, is that is that correct? I think yes. Rock the Casbah was 80s, right? Uh, with the Clash? Yes. I think 82 or something. It may be 81. Well, it was on MTV, so yeah. it was after be after 83. Fucking phenomenal. What a great, I love that video. I love waiting for that because the song was great. The video was, it was weird. I, I just thought it was very overplayed. Oh, it's totally over. It so was I the did, uh, I got sick of it. What what's the over it was the American Pie of uh music videos? Was American Pie overplayed? Uh was according it, to some people. Weren't we uh, a little young for that? Yeah. A definitely. Little, whatever definitely. word you want to use? Yeah. We're young? Yeah. Not born yet, possibly would be probably the more accurate term. Yeah. <laughs> so my two brains got in the way of the first brain. So anyway, but we've got punk coming out, then synth, right? Yes. And then we've got also disco. Yes. Those three start the decade. Then you've got Chick Power, which is right in the beginning. Joan Jett, Pat Benatar, Patti Smith, right? The scandal. I, yes. It got worse. The more I thought about your question, the worse I fucking got because more and more stuff came in. So now Correct. I've got four things. I got Chick Rock. Because let's be honest, like women did music, but did they have like a rebel rocker? Janis Joplin, she died. She died in the 60s. They didn't have that for, what, 10, 15, 20 years? Maybe? 
maybe 15 years, 10 years. Tina Turner in the 70s <sighs> after her and Ike. They know. had a big soul R&B thing, but those were like divas, right? It was, it was kind of specific to Dionne Warwick, uh, Gladys Knight, Tina Turner. You kind of get the theme right, there. But Tina, a soul diva but Tina kind of thing branched out into the 70s and into the 80s she and was, she took advantage of mtv her solo career private correct, dancer correct whatever, mad max put her on the fucking map too yeah right? thunderdome like beyond thunderdome is that the right one thunder crotch <laughs> that sounds what? like a bad disease there's ointment for that it's I've gonna got, be okay i've got the i've got what if you have lightning crotch but it's not followed by thunder crotch then it's really far away <laughs> okay it's so, like on your shoulder so if i have lightning crotch and three seconds later, I get Thundercrotch. Is Thundercrotch three miles away? Yes. Or is it three orgasms away? How does... How does... I'll have to report back on that. I'll have to Please, do some Please, can you do some heavy, heavy research? A lot and be research. careful what you say, because I'm not editing shit. So just edit yourself. I know. I'm just telling you. I'm, I'm all respectful for it, and I love it. But we got we to self-police, bro. Oh, it's going to hurt later. Oh, it's going to it's gonna hurt. <laughs> I think that's going to come up again, because oh, I don't think you're going to be able to help yourself with one of these. One of with one of the songs that you have, I don't think you're going to help yourself. I'm going to slightly defend it. You know it, what would be worse is if I picked "We're Not Going to Take It" by Twisted Sister. Who am not going? But Dee Snyder is a cool but motherfucker. Could you imagine isn't he? the president of the Prime Minister of India singing "We're Not Going to Take It" at a drunk karaoke party? I'd like to hear that. It would be fantastic. No, no, I'd I'd like to hear We're that. We're not I'd, going to take it. Come on. No. <laughs> Everybody, you know, so there we go. Oh, that's great. We could do like, uh, oh, I'm not going to get, let's not, let's too not late. become the, the racist Googles, beer Google racism. So anyway. That's why, to, to your point about how your brain goes down the rabbit holes, that's why I <laughs> noise canceling microphones. Brought to you by Death Wish Coffee. That, that's why I gave you four. I gave everybody four days. So I asked a bunch of people Friday morning. I said, you have until Monday night. And if you didn't want to use that whole time, that's fine. And I gave myself the same deadline because I really struggled with, like I said, I started Video Kill the Radio Star. Oh, yeah, that's got to be on my list. Top three. And then. Within, How quickly was that knocked off? Within right? hours, I went. Oh, hours. That, I mean, I thought, oh, God, there's no way that can be on the list. But at first, I'm like, oh, of course it is. That said, though, would you argue that an MTV icon video needs to be on there? That's not the question. Right. But you I'm, could argue that, absolutely. Well, I'm just saying, like, using the terms that we're talking about, right? What, the 80s. what three songs define the decade objectively? Not your favorites. Right. How would you say, okay, I know you're 25 years old. What, listen to these three songs. They sum up the 80s in my mind. Again, Fuck. no Madonna, no Michael Jackson, ex nothing at the highest level of pop. It must be slightly underneath that, or yeah, really it could be one, one hit wonders. And, and the eighty the eighties were riddled with one hit wonders. Yes. And I think part of that was because of, it was a confusing era for what music was going to be. Was disco going to make it? It should never been there in the first. In a weird way, not to judge. I mean, disco had its place. Bee Gees are fucking awesome, man. They rock it, right? Great. Saturday Night Fever, all that stuff yeah. was like, that's the 70s. I mean, obviously. Of course. But when you come out, let's get physical. Olivia oh, Newton-John, like weird stuff. You're like, okay, so that. And then some of the synth stuff was awful. We didn't have, yes. we didn't have computers that sounded good, like real instruments yet, so it sounded super artificial and plasticky. But it was unique because it was something we hadn't heard yet. So there was a lot of ebb and flow going into the 80s. I mean, came to pr prominence yes early 80s women like i said rock like the women's rock revolution i mean what joan jett fucking patty smith and pat benatar absolutely fucking oh i, I have to pick one song you don't of those. have to i know but it's just so defined Isn't, like you know like heart you know what's the one uh, i love rock and roll yeah crimson and clover heartbreaker you know uh, the warrior hasn't uh, your list already been shot. submitted has what your list has already been submitted but remember, we revisited this, and I told you it was changed. So uh, I don't no, even I don't I'm even have sure a fixed I list can yet. Prove that. <gasps> did I <sighs> did I pass the the uh, deadline? What's that? Uh, the statute of limitations. <laughs> you did. 
Checkmark did not. Oh, checkmark. Well, I would like my vote, please. I listen to 80s music. It's all new in the Czech Republic now. It's all, we just, it's just yesterday. they just released Careless Whisper. First time ever. <laughs> I in do Czech love Republic. saxophonists. Oh, the bro, do, do, do. it's so good. As I drink my absinthe and I spike my girlfriends, you know, because we got to you know get it on. You know, you know, Cosby, Cosby told me many things himself. Yes. Bill Cosby himself, he's like, I would like to talk to you about the, the child replacement. Is that a pretty good Cosby accent? That's, That's a pretty fantastic good impression, right? Check Cosby. <laughs> like, I'd like to, oh, milk, milk is in, in cake and, and eggs. Jello. Let's get the Jello pudding pop, please. Okay, so all right, so we That's fucking tangent it. That one, sorry, everybody. Um, thank you. It was fantastic. Oh, uh, before well, before we continue, thank you to everyone who listened to our one episode. Three people. Well, to whoever will listen to the one episode that we have for the rest of the time, because it's obviously a shit show. Oh my god, why the fuck did we not call it the shit show? There's gotta be a shit show out there. Poop show? Turd fest? Little deuce poop? <laughs> it's both deuce and poop. It's double poop. Double poop. Alright, so. How would you like to start the process of this? Do you want to go into the list of people? Or do you want to go into your... I would love to hear your process and how you came up with your three. What they are. And which, in what order, and also the ones that you knocked off as you moved along. Of course. As I stated, uh, Video Killer Radio Star was on the list. And then I thought, okay, that's gone. After a few hours. So, um, <laughs> this was over a weekend. It went from Friday morning to Monday night. Really quickly. What, when you said that's gone, did a song already knock it off? Or did you say no to it on its own? I said no to it because there's so many other thousands of songs that I thought, okay, yeah, it, I, Video Killed the Radio Star, it's huge, but is that really, is that really, it has to be an objective opinion of, of my list, not my favorite, not because of MTV, so it, it had to be a higher level, I had to think about it more strategically. Um, I get it. So you... What's good about that is you didn't get a song to knock it off. So you really kind of just started and said, okay, pump the brakes on that before. But that's the best way to go through that, right? Like you yes. get emotional or you get whatever and you attach your first date to a song or your dance right. or whatever. That's See, that's I don't think that's a good – I don't think that would have been the right thing to do. But, I mean, obviously everyone's entitled to their opinion. And some songs on the list from my some friends I don't care for and I – that's okay. That's they're entitled to their, however they wanted to process the question. I would also like, if I may, I feel like three is very tight window. You're welcome. I like it. I like the window because it does make you make you really kind of pinpoint Correct. it. Correct. I would, I would prefer five. Of course you would. Ten's way too much, but five would be more my number, but I totally understand three, but the, because I was a DJ, because I did all that music and I played, pretty much every 80s song you could have possibly played. I probably have a spot, spot in my heart for 90% of 80s music, you know? I agree. And, and we grew up in that. Yes. I mean, that, that was our time. Yeah. So, Video Kill pops right in your head to your MTV. Boom, you're on this MTV track, and you're like, uh, stop. Next. What, what happened? Correct. So, because of my, I, I'm, my taste is in metal, I thought, well... The, I would put in Slayer because they start, they were right there with Metallica creating thrash metal. But then that's dumb because that's so on the fringe of, of this, of the music scene of the, of the eighties that there's, that's what I would put in there. Okay. Iron Maiden, according to billboard, Iron Maiden was the 22nd most popular band of the eighties. That makes total Metallica sense. was 20th, but that's of the eighties. Yes, sir. See, Shocking. I would, I would have, if I were to say, because I know they start in the 80s, I get that. I would have put them as more defining of the 90s. Because the Black Album. I go to Black Album. Right. Exactly. But Metallica because, had four right, albums. Master of Puppets. Uh, you Ride the Lightning. Yes. Kill Em All. Kill Em All, I remember. Okay. And Justice for All. Justice for All. Oh, my God. Which I know them all. was yeah. my Bible for a long time. So, Bibliotech? 
Yes. Well, it, is the is the, the, is is the, is that Bible in your library? No, b- b- or, yes. Where is the Bible at? <laughs> My brain. Where is this Bible? My of which third we speak? brain. I got a missed call. Oh, I bet it's bullshit. What? I bet it's like, hello, my name is Vlad. I like to buy your, your apartment. I'm looking to rent. I afford to looking to buy properties to rent. Would you like to buy, sell your rental property? Yeah, because I'm going to give you the fucking money, Vlad, you fucking moron. You're oh, very fuck, upset with Vlad. I know, man. I'm judging that guy. Why? I had Dimitri and Vlad. You know what the fuck is wrong with me? You know why I used Dimitri and Vlad? I just realized it. I've been playing Grand Theft Auto 4. I just started playing again because this how this home invasion shit where we can't leave, whatever the I'm fuck you want to call it. The new COVID nineteen is called the home invasion. The home invasion of COVID nineteen. It's the reverse home invasion. It, it's technically the out invasion, isn't it? The away invasion because it's all out there and we have to stay home. So it's the outside invasion. Yeah, it's really we're yeah. So so it's invading nature. This self this self corn 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 gua, poop gua, guanine guarin guarin guano. Chicago. So, this is what I would like to do also. It's a challenge. It's a deep challenge. I don't know if anyone's up to it. Not just you. But anyone. I always throw weird quotes into shit. <laughs> I just need to see if you know from where it came. When I say, Wano! Do you have any idea? Of course. It's from the, 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 the Ace Ventura. It. Yes. That's why I said, Chicago. Oh, that's right. Chicago. Chicago. Okay, okay, okay. What do you feed your dog? Well, guano is actually from the second one, right? Yes, so, correct. Yes. It's a it's her too. The shittier detective. He was shitty both times. But then he got super fucking woke. Whatever it takes. He's so fucking woke, I don't even think he can ever go back to sleep. That's correct. And now an alarm clock anymore. He turned fucking None. threw it out. He's like, None fuck no. you. I don't need reminders. I am woke. All right. <laughs> Tangentville. That would have been nine. Oh, that's a movie from the nineties, right? That's uh, Ace Venture was so fucking good. Billy Madison. Stop. Stop. Time out. Stop. I got to reel back in. Can you even see this? This is not a fishing show. Re- okay, this is me reel. This, this is me reeling back in. This is not a fishing <laughs> show. Okay. We- By the way, this thing's awesome. It is a vaporizer that fits in your hand. Okay. And it do- it vaporizes both herb and wax. And it's so tiny and compact. Look how little it is. It is very it's tiny like, and compact. Hey, baby. Hello. I'd like to be a stuck bomb, please. <laughs> that was wrong. Also, it's going to hurt later. That one. So, uh, anyone willing to blackmail me has about 14 pieces already. 12. Don't exaggerate. I haven't sent a dick pic on here yet. So, <laughs> I think we're good. Yet? <laughs> well, I mean, I could just be yeah. like, yeah. let's see what we can. It's not gonna happen. Come on, man. Please, no genitalia. No, no sausages. My genitalia is gelatinous. You don't want to see any of that. <laughs> gelatinous genitalia is not happening. That's sir. a. That sounds like a new Cannibal like Corpse album. Yeah. I bet you Bill Cosby wasn't touching that Jello. Oh God, dear. I wonder what Jello he did touch. Do you think? No. He spiked the Jello, or he liked really heavy women. Then he just. A little, a little, a little, and just wiggled his way up in there, twixt the hedges. You know what I'm talking about? Twixt the nethers, I guess. Or did he spike the cokes? Oh fuck! That guy was diabolical. Man, that's air just came out of the room right there. All right, so we're back on. That was easy. Uh, we're back from our commercial break. So regardless, <laughs> I could not pick a metal song. Because that's not being objective. That's not, I have to answer my own question. But I think if you were Metallica, obviously popularity wise, just from everyone they know now, but Iron Maiden was a big 80s. Judas Priest was a big 80s. Absolutely. And these, they, I would look to those as 80s defining. They were. So I would love to acquiesce and say, I think you'd be okay with that. Uh, I, I obviously I'm a massive Iron Maiden fan, but I I couldn't put them on the list, right? Because that shows that I'm biased. Yeah. And they didn't. They had no radio airplay. Maiden had zero videos yes, on MTV, no radio airplay, but yet they sold millions and millions and millions of albums. Right. You heard of them? Everyone's heard of them. Let's be honest. I mean, you know, not to criticize people who like metal, 
at all or any music. But music is a very subjective thing. Of course. Absolutely subjective. So what will happen, what would happen... Stop it. He was touching the mouse. I think you just, you can, you can judge it. Just a little bit. You can judge it. Just like that. Like, kind of like that. Uh, <laughs> that's a mouse. That's so, trackpad. So sideways. So. Very. But, um, we were talking about Iron Maiden, right? Which is dumb. We shouldn't be. No, I, but I don't, but I get your point. And yes, being biased would be very challenging. That's so. what, that's the point of the question though, is to A. Right. To get people to think, you only have three. And I know there's a hundred songs that everybody wanted to put on their list. Okay, whatever. There's a lot of, but that's not the point. The point is you have a certain amount of time and you only get three songs. That's it. Yep. So you got to think to yourself, okay, well, I've got 12. Okay, well, which one? You got to do like a, a a sweet 16 bracket. Okay, which one? Beats, which one? Boom, 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 boom. And here you go. Here's the list. Done. You know, Aline, we might have to do one of those. Okay. I've done, I've done a, I've, I've done a bracket, I think, with different people before to find the coolest person. That's a fun one. Okay. We'll do, we'll do one of those. Sure. I think a bracket, okay. I think bracketology would be a great fucking idea for that thing. Whatever um, you like. To do. Now, to that point, though, we are now fucked because we have three. Choices? Yes, three choices. It's a great kind because it really does make you tighten that correct, window up. Correct, correct. But it makes me almost lean towards one hit wonders. Because one hit wonders define an era or an event or a decade, right? We are the world. Yeah. Live it. You know, those of hands course. across America, all that stuff. If you right? want to look at it that way, you're absolutely correct. Right. And I did not look at it that way at all. Right. So but I, some people did. Right. And, and that's the thing is I start going through my head. I go, what music genres were at least popular? I know disco definitely made it. Yeah. Heavy metal wasn't on the radio. It was in the 90s. It wasn't Metallica even, made it. wasn't it. even on the radar. No, it wasn't. 80s, you're right. Let alone it, the radio. Well, because it was the, it it was was the so other people. It was so on the fringe right. of, you know, jeans and boots and, and the spiked bracelets yeah. and the leather, <laughs> you know. Know. Hold on a sec. Look, can we speak about I, that beautiful? Yeah, I'm an idiot. Go ahead. Judas Priest. Judas Priest, come on. Everybody's like, oh, I'm a rocker. I wear spikes and metal and leather. And he's gay, right? We should have known. And that's he, all good. In 1980, whatever, when he came on stage in all leather with the whip singing Ram It Down, how did we Probably. not know? Yeah. Because we're stupid fucking humans. And that's cool. I don't care that he's gay. No, he's no. one of the greatest of all, that, singers of all time. That's not in, even the issue. You know, in a rock perspective. But how did right. I was 14 or 15? Right. How did I not go... Uh, there's something wrong with that. 14 or 15, I wouldn't even have thought that. To no, be honest. I just thought it was I metal. I could not. Oh. It was metal. And you're like, ram it down. Yeah. You're like, mm, okay. And it doesn't matter. Orientation means nothing to fucking music. What I, what I found funny, though, is his orientation was his orientation. People emulated him because they loved his music. So they wore his attire. Yes. His attire is actually very associated with certain deviant whatever alternative yes. lifestyles let's call them yes that, once again no judgment just is what it is right alternative lifestyles and then they find this out and they're like fuck i've been well uh, you know how guys are because they think they're macho alphas listening to fucking metal and they don't fucking know that's what i love and a lot of guys are homophobic right a lot well, of guys that listen that, to that right. aggressive type of music correct are homophobic which or is so important. closet and well, yes, you know, and there's or, a lot of right. That, they're right? like, oh my god, American beauty style. Yeah, maybe I'm, maybe I'm gay, but I'm ashamed of it, or however you want to look at it, like that. Yeah, and there's a, a lot of guys that listen to that music are are homophobic or look at it from a, a negative perspective. Yeah, I get that. So, once you eliminated video, you eliminate metal as a as an entire piece only because of your respect or well, I your understanding of. It not becoming mainstream probably till the nineties or two thousand. Well, in some even, cases, but well, Romstein. I mean, you've got some well, big hits. I know they're not Marilyn Manson. I know they're light. They're not heavy metal. Well, they're, no, but Romstein and and, these, and Marilyn Manson, I would say, are metal. But okay. that was in the nineties, right? That's what I'm saying. They're nineties. I'm saying right. they're nineties. They're I, not eighties at all. I don't think you could say thrash metal as much as that's no. part of my soul. Is I don't think you can consider that at all quintessential to the eighties. Correct. You so can't I consider that at all. That right. Quick. Yeah. So I I looked at it. Like you looked at it by, 
80 to 83, 83 to whatever. Kind and of. then you went back to like the women and that's, you segmented it. And I looked at influence. I yeah. Right. I'm looking at influence yeah, in some way. way. Look at it. So I looked at it as genres. Okay. So I looked at it as, okay, thrash metal's gone. So okay. what was next in the 80s in my mind? Well, hair metal. Obviously, I can't pick the Madonnas and the Michael Jacksons. So I, originally, I wanted to go with Bon Jovi, Wanted Dead or Alive. Because 87, Slippery When Wet came out, and they, yes. Wanted Dead or Alive is 87? Yes. Okay. Just need, I'm trying to, I wonder if it was 89 or 90. That was the next album. That's the one with the other one that sounds like the same song. Bad Medicine. No, the other one. The other one that sounds like the other one. It's okay. So basically, Bon Jovi's the Coldplay of Bon Jovi. Because like every song, they're good in their own rights. But you, I could pretty much put chords of each one into the other songs, and you couldn't fucking tell a difference. Uh, I understand What's why. What's for a pillow? One, it dead or alive. That's that one. The Steel Horse He Rides. And then yes. there's the other one. The one, his solo one? For, no, it's this is like first. Ah, man. I, regardless. Would you like Ill? To, regardless. Would you like to Google it? No. Well, first of all, we don't do that here. Oh, I'm sorry. We have beer Googles. So double O double G, everybody. No copyright infringement. <laughs> Secondly, we can, we just look up random shit on the internet. Would we you don't like to Google look up random anything. shit on the internet? Yes. Okay. How... How does one do so? I don't know. I don't even know your question. Okay, so let's go back. As you're speaking, tell me about uh, One in Dead or Alive. Go. Uh, To me, that's a quintessential song of the 80s. It's not heavy. It's not a power ballad, but it's got a... Everybody knows the song, right? Correct. But I, the way I looked at it was it's too popular. It's right there with the Madonna, and, and, and I understand... You know, Bon Jovi went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which we should never talk about that. So, <laughs> okay, as you're as you're beer googling, to me it was too popular. Yes, so I, I, and I get that. So I so I threw it out. I took I took that also into consideration, just so you know, because super popular that transcended the decade. He's he's eighties, nineties, two thousands. He's really he's really not the eighties to my almost in that one hit wonder kind of way. Like Bon Jovi. Yeah, because he's 80s, 90s, and two, he he was so big in so multiple decades yes. that he doesn't define a single decade. Well, that me. song, C- it's correct. not about the artist. That's right. You're it's right. about the you're song. Right. The song. What correct. three songs define point. the decade in your objective opinion? So I March th- 3rd, 1986, or 87, recorded in 86, my friend. Did, why did you doubt Mark me, dude? I'm thinking What's about different songs. What's my license plate? <laughs> um, it's not Bon Jovi metal. No, it's not. It's hair metal. It's not, it's not Bon Iver Jovi. But I do like the majority of the music in that genre. Yeah. So. I was, dude, that was our fucking wheelhouse, bro. I know. That's when we were masturbating. <laughs> uh, I did not listen to hair metal when I masturbated. I don't know if I want to share that story. Oh, dear. Please don't. So I threw that out. I got a good one. It's okay. Oh, God. But go ahead. Dork. Yeah, so you threw out uh, Bon Jovi. And I would also. Because I would consider Bon Jovi as... I would consider Michael Jackson Madonna. They he is up there. He but is up there in popularity. Obviously, they Bon Globally. Jovi went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But I would guess that they sold half the number of records that Madonna or Michael Jackson did. It's a good. Question. I have no idea. I've never beer googled it, but I, I, that's my guess: is that they didn't come close to the Thrillers and the Beat It's and the what was his next album? Uh, uh, bad. Sheesh. You know, I or Vogue. I don't think they were. I don't think they were anywhere near that. Okay. That, you know, speculating. Yeah, and I. I the problem with that is because they continually made music. Your al- your overall album sales is going to be tough. You'd have to look at it just in the eighties, right? Well, let's be honest. Madonna hasn't made a song, and what she's made has been direct for the last but, twenty years. Sure. But I bet you but 80s, she still 90s, sold 30. more albums than Bon Jovi. And you you're not, and I would assume Michael Jackson is above both of them. Michael Jackson's got to be up there. Okay, so we're going to we're going to have to do some research on that. We'll table we'll, that. You know what we'll do? We'll have uh, an update, like update episode. You know how you have one of those correction idea. episodes where we correct all the fucking mistakes we made? How about all of it? This whole thing's going to be corrected. <laughs> so I threw out One Dead or Alive, but I had to <laughs> right That's my job is to f- fucking keep us on track 
Thank can't you. believe that's the first fucking, fucking, fucking F word I said. You've been very good. You've been very good at self-monitoring right now. Fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck. Yep. What movie is that from? So. That's a great question. I don't know. What is that from? From, from what movie is that? From what movie is this from? No. Oh. From what movie is this from? South Park. Bigger, longer, and uncut. Oh, I do remember it. What's the big fucking deal, Ooh. bitch? Papa. Hey, guys. Do you guys want to come down to hell? Hey, help me. Okay, Saddam. Completely out of control. Uh, okay, so Jovi's gone. Yes. Next. So I had to keep a hair metal <laughs> song because it did yes. define the decade. Oh. And I, I look at it as the 80s was a decade of decadence. Was. Coke? <laughs> Yeah, money, I mean, the, credit you know, cards. Just, if you just look at yeah. the size of the shoulder pads of the ladies, it was a decade <laughs> of decadence, and and they're bigger than the fucking NFL football players' pads now. Yeah, it's it was retarded. Yep, I you're gonna pay that for word. that one. <laughs> <laughs> I promised my girlfriend, and by the way, I'm, oh, I'm going to crap. say I'm going to say my girlfriend a lot because I won't say her name. We're, we we're very much name about her something else. No, my girlfriend, GF. Okay, Gidget. I don't know GF. G Golf Foxtrot. Oh, phonetic alphabet. Wow. My new name is Charlie Papa. She's a fox. I'll give her that. So, <laughs> side note, I will say my girlfriend. You're gonna fucking pay for that one. Just. Just FYI. Uh, uh, I'm very apologetic for my use of the R word. That's that's heartfelt. And I know you meant it because you caught yourself. No. You did. But you don't. We did. Did it. When you oh. were when you live with someone <laughs> whose life Who's retarded? Well, I live with myself all the time. That's not <laughs> You're <poor>. multiversed. When, <laughs> when you live with someone who works with special needs children and that word's been taken by fucking myopic morons towards them. Honestly, I feel like that. Well, shit, I can't even. I can't even comment on this. I'm just gonna let it go. So anyway, you're in trouble. You said it. I didn't. Did you hear that? I did not say that. Uh, I have a shovel here, and I'm just gonna give it to you, and I want you to keep digging this hole, so you get in more trouble than I do. Go. Back to the point. Hair metal is a big deal. I don't know what I was saying. If I may. Please. I'm not a hairband, hair metal guy. Right off the Except top. Except when you were jerking off that one time. Well, we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> no, we won't. Probably never. Ever. And probably not on this. I won't be here. I will fast it's forward. It's called masturbation. I can't say jerking off? Sure. Choking the chicken? Oh my God, so many euphemisms. Wow. So, you're uh, not a yeah. hair metal guy. No, but poison. Right off the bat, Poison. Guns and Roses, uh, which is debatable. If Cinderella, it is only when we say hair band, hair. Me I don't know if you have a distinction between hair metal and hair band. Same thing. Okay, so anyone that had that more big hair. hair, that was huge. Rose, that was Axel. Well, that, that was, was only one Duff. song. It was one Slash. video. Slash, Slash is one, well, he just has curly hair, bro. But it's bro, <laughs> bro. It's like out, bro, bro. By the way. My friend Rob met Slash at the Hollywood Bowl. Wow. I think going to listen to John L. Williams. Did you just name Rob? I did because That's, he's not my that girlfriend. That's his fake name. That's and his... I, don't care about his per I don't care about his privacy. I care about my girlfriend's okay, privacy. Then. Rob, don't make me spell your last name and give away social and all that. I don't know. I don't know the first four. Six. Let alone six. six. Okay. Done. Also okay. Iron Maiden. So back to hair bands. But there's there's a pla there's myriad bands. Oh, yes. The absolutely. And there's tons of bands. And I would go right to Poison. I When I think hair band, I go Every Rose. I yes. go Mama Don't Dance, Daddy Don't Rock and Roll, even though it was a cover. Yes. Fallen Angel. Nothing but a good time. Yes. I could just write. Firehouse. Oh, that, that's 90, isn't it? No, they came out. They were. Love of a Lifetime? That was Probably in 91, yes. Ah, but they so, were around in the late 80s, but they didn't yeah. become popular. But I did like that. Extreme? Had, yeah. There's a bunch I could... That one just came to me. Shut up. You're a genius. Did you think of that song? Extreme? Yeah. More, More Than, than words? words? No. What does, that, what does that make you feel the second you hear that, though, and you think 80s? I think of the Metalachi version. Mijo, don't be afraid of the love. I'll play it for you later. Go ahead. Loco... Loco? 
Yes. What were you going to say? No, no, no. Extreme. So back. No, more than words. I'm just saying like that one just came to me and that was so huge in my, I don't remember junior high. high. I'd have to look at yeah. the year. But that there was, was such a big there song. was four or five months where that song was on ro- just auto rotate. How many times on- did you call on the radio station and fucking request that song? Trying to get some woman to be like, I just want Stephanie to like me. <laughs> I oh, still think about oh, Stephanie. Truly. How'd you know? Well, you know, it is what it is. I'm psychic, bro. <laughs> bro, bro. You know I'm psychic. So after Bon Jovi, I did think about Poison Every Rose Has a Thorn. That was my next thought, and I thought, okay, it's just too popular. You can't do that. Right. right. You, you almost, it, like, it, the pendulum swung from completely obscure metal to way too much in the mainstream. Correct. But it you did... You gotta fix something, though. It did define the power ballad, which every hair band had to have at least one on every yes. album, and the chicks loved it, and then the dudes loved it because the chicks loved it, and you're rolling your eyes? No, 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 I'm not rolling my eyes. I'm Things pop in my head. I start going, I go early 80s now, Quiet Riot, Rat. Twisted Sister, to your earlier point. You could have done ahead. Rat Round and Round. Round and Round. Easily. You quiet, quiet Riot. Come on, feel the noise. Come yes. on. Yes. I had that on 33. I had that on LP. What about the fact that not one Van Halen song made anyone's list? We need to talk about what didn't make it. I don't want to do that okay. later, though. But you're, you did. No, one did. Uh, Jump. I oh, you're, didn't you're make right. It. You are correct. There's, okay. But there is the one that we were yes. going to talk about. Yes. That did not make it. And yes. Thought very long and hard about why and why not and okay. what I'm caused very that. anxious to hear that. So So I threw out poison and I ended up going with the thought of the decade of decadence, which is actually the title of a box set of Motley Crew, Decade of Decadence. That's right. That's correct. Yeah. So um that wasn't the point, but it's just ironic or not. Uh don't you think? I don't like that bitch. Once again, none of that shit in that song's ironic. Not a single <laughs> goddamn fucking thing. Sir, this bitch. is not look, the 90s. I want... Look, don't, I'm looking... Don't swallow the jagged little pill. Look, don't. I want a fucking knife and you give me 10,000 spoons? That's not ironic. That's just fucking unfortunate. That's bad timing. I don't want to get into it because I th- there's a comedian that made a, did a whole bit on this, but I had thought of that and it sucks because I don't want to step on other people's toes. I'm going to leave it at that, but nothing that that woman talks about is ironic in that song. Just very unfortunate events. <coughs> I did that too. Yes. Okay, so what so, I like is this. Have you heard of a thing called Maya? And we're going to talk about this on a future podcast, probably on the not conscious one. But have you heard of Maya? Are you familiar? Uh, I guess not. The Maya principle. It stands for most advanced yet acceptable. Okay. So there's a guy who made all this shit in the 1900s. And we'll talk about that guy because he's on our list. But basically, as he redesigned a car, how do you redesign a car? How do you redesign a locomotive, an, a steam engine? Yes. So what he did was he took cues that you could recognize and then popped them onto a newer thing. So the idea is you wanted to kind of invoke that futuristic thing, but you still need to hearken. The days of yesteryear. To the days, because it has to be nostal- yes. nostalgia. Yes. Is what gets you to emotional, buy stuff because right? it's an emotional decision. That's what made this list also um, very challenging for me because I had p- moments that I had different songs that I really liked. Of course. And later in the eighties, I liked girls, so really? ballads were big. Shot. Well, I'm just saying I like girls. It was very. I mean, it was late in the eighties. I was, you know. 15 six, whatever 15, it 16. took it's okay yeah i didn't even drive yet when in the 80s so i didn't drive till 90 sorry bro i'm you don't have to apologize bro i'm it's gonna be okay hat in hand it's sorry. Gonna, it's gonna be okay so you go to motley crew motley crew uh home sweet home was my first song love it because it is it is it is a ballad it came out in 83 on an album that was not very good with that one song with the piano, it had a heavy piece in it. It it, it didn't fit the time. It was it started a, a little bit of a momentum of the power ballad theme, where you did get some other bands later on playing the piano, where most bands started with the acoustic guitar. Right. And I thought that Motley Crue summed up the decade. They basically ruled Sunset Strip. They started. They started in eighty one. 
in Hollywood, they started the hair metal revolution or whatever. whatever that's not the right yeah. word. No, I get, I get, I get what you're saying, but there's a band that's right there and also not mentioned on the list. And I'm going to sit on that. Okay. I hope I remember it. Well, write it down. I don't want to write it down because I don't want to give it away. Well, I'll remember it. Just bring up Motley Crue again. We're going to bring up the list. And I'll, it'll draw my memory. But it's huge. And I think when you hear this, you're going to go, what the fuck? Why didn't I think of that? Maybe. Or you'll be like, shut the fuck up, dude. Okay. To me, not, I'm not telling you. And I understand. I got you. I'm sorry, sir. You know, so just stop apologizing. I'm, I'm sorry stop for being sorry. apologizing. I'm sorry for, for being sorry. Look, I'm sorry. Bro. bro. <laughs> I'm brari. Uh, I'm brari. I'm so brari. I'm brari. I'm brari, so brari. Okay. Team America. <sighs> Except different. Lick my butt and suck on my balls. That was pretty terribly uh, awesome. That was fucking rocking. Okay, so <laughs> we now have Molly Crew. <laughs> yes, that's my first pick. And the song again? Home Sweet Home. God. Number one pick. Such a great song. Well, that's my first pick. <laughs> And even okay. though it's overplayed, Not at I all. still like the song. And I'm still, when I hear it on the radio or Sirius XM or whatever, I don't change the channel. And some songs I do, i like, oh my God, I've heard, I've heard Welcome to the Jungle so yeah. many times. Yeah. And some people love it and that's cool, but Sweet Child of Mine. Paradise City to me was better. And Paradise City was overplayed too. It definitely was. So, I feel like Sweet, you know I'd have to, that's almost its own fucking podcast is which Guns N' Roses song was overplayed. Or which one's best on that first album. Because to me. It's not any of those. No shit. But nobody Brownstone? talks about my Michelle. Mr. Brownstone? Mr. Brownstone's fantastic. Night Brownstone Train. Is uh, the, uh, it's I so used to easy. love her. No, that's Patience. It's so easy. It's, yeah. so, dude, it's so easy, easy. Everybody kind of please me. That baby. to me yeah. is probably the best song on the album. I'd go Brownstone. Just because yeah. it was cool. Yeah, yeah, it, had a good, with, it had a good groove. Yeah, it had a cool had a, like, Yeah, vibe I would to agree. It. But, but I get my, what you're Michelle, my Michelle. Oh, my, there's my, my, every single my, song my on that album was amazing. Who sang that way before him? There were crooners, there were screeners. You had Roth and you had Hagar that went, Janice yeah, but they didn't, Joplin. Janice Joplin. <laughs> I, that's where I went. No one fucking rocked. Axel fucking. Dude, well, if, he, stage if he didn't have his demons. His stage presence. Right, it's just like Wyland. If he didn't have his fucking demons. Oh, fuck. It'd be so good. Well, the egotistical nature well, of hu humans. Well, I think trauma. Uh, Perhaps, you know, yeah. I, you know, to me, substance abuse is much of a... More of the effect, not the cause. It spirals and makes it worse. So you have a trauma. You try to mask it. And then that creates worse decision making because you're chemically altered. Then the spire, then the, the toilet happens. Yeah, the swirly. Sw oh, swirlies. I never got one. Nope. I was not that much of a nerd. You will realize from this show that I am a fucking nerd, but not, I could defend myself. I could protect myself. Glad to hear that. I always just shat my pants and no one would touch me. That was a joke, please. <laughs> that, that, why, that's that why, was a fucking joke. That's people. why I laughed. Deadpan. Oh. I, it's the worst. It's bad when all I do is say stuff to joke and Dude, they think I'm serious. And then I'll say serious and then they laugh at me and I'm like, fuck, I'm serious. We're on minute 53 and we talked about one song and we got 40 to go or something. I don't know. No, we're going to read the list, but I want your three. This is what, this is the, this is the bulk of it though. I, I care about your process. I don't know these people in their process. I know yours. Well, you and now yours. that your list has been revisioned. Revised? Yeah, it'll be revised. Whatever. I'll go quickly through my. No, list. that's you don't. I, but now I'm interested. I want to know. We'll go for the three you gave me and why you changed to what you changed. That's, I don't even remember what I told you. I have what, a document, I know. sir. I like it. I'm a psycho I'm, Virgo, bro, and I'm not going to apologize for that. Do you find it weird that yes, your birthday and my birthday are 16 days apart, and my girlfriend's birthday and her best friend's birthday are only 14 days apart, and you and her are only two days apart? And my girlfriend and I are only three days apart. I didn't. I didn't know about. Isn't that crazy. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Weird. What's the girlfriend's friend's birthday? Uh, September thirteenth. Three before you. Two before. I'm sorry. One before you. I apologize. Jesus Christ. Remember how I always thought 
Yes, it 16, was 14. 14 days before Dipshit. mine or 14 days into the month. It fucks me up. And once I locked that in, I, I was fucked. That's why we well, picked the now, 22nd. That's why the 22nd. I know. We have a shared birthday, holiday. ladies and gentlemen. We picked a date halfway between our birthdays, and now we have it. It's called the shared birthday. It's a beautiful thing. It's on our calendar. <laughs> it's just like the Blimpy sandwich. But and you're your not a Virgo. No, no. And but, that's the thing. Virgo and Libras don't generally have this relationship. Just generally. We are special. And they're special. But not the R word special. Not. Okay. So song two? <laughs> song two is I had to give at least one song to the British new wave sound. And that genre to me was massive in the eighties. Big. And I, I thought, do I go with the cure Depeche mode? Uh, there's so many bands that defined that. And you can even go to, because there was American bands, Thompson twins and the, the pretenders were on the edge of that talking heads, but they were also in the seventies. Really the cars, the seventies and eighties. Cars are a little more classic rock. More, rock I would agree with that. But but new wave. There was a lot of ding 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 yeah, ding. There was a lot correct. of that. That's what made the eighties so confusing musically. It just mished it all together and then let the fucking shits find its way out, and it yes, did. Yes. So I even Oingo Boingo, I thought. So and <gasps> what's I've, your favorite Oingo Boingo song though? Because it's not it's not mine. I don't think. Um. It's not the it's not the popular one. It's the second. obviously everyone knows Dead Man's Party. Well, that's my that's my favorite, but it's not that's not their biggest hit. <sighs> Wasn't Oingo Boingo the other one the biggest hit? Oh shit! Oh poop! I don't even look. That. <laughs> I don't even There's something that. about I like it a lot. I forget the name of it. It's something about the day. Yes. Not this is the day because that's the the, but. And please. Uh, play no mind to the typing of the man, the fat man behind the mask, behind the microphone. Oingo Boingo discography. Wow, they fucking were 79. Yeah, they. I heard some early stuff of theirs a couple days ago, and I did not recognize. The voice is the same, but they did not sound the same. It was, I think it was 1980s, the song that I heard, and I thought, what the heck is this? I was shocked. That is ridiculous. It was very, yeah, there you go, 81. Holy shit. But I, I think they're from Southern California, and so was I, so. Are you sure they're not British? That's so funny. Well, now they emulate. Don't go away, it's only me. Yeah. It's like it has, but it's, I think it's also emulating, right? That, correct. That era. That, that's why my point is that there was a lot of bands not from the UK that were influenced by that sound. And you could go with, you know, a bunch there's a bunch of bands in that in that the way i look at it is you could see you could have a top three list of depeche mode songs or oh, the yeah. cure songs just from the 80s or from the 90s that's what makes this question really challenging. right so that's why i went um we're gonna finish this just another day that's weird science weird science just Another Day oh is probably my, my favorite. Is my okay. favorite Boingo Boingo song. I, okay. I knew it was Day, but I couldn't think of it. Yeah. I got you. But I do hear those a lot on the station I listen to. Those top three. Interesting. Okay, so we're now on New Wave. And I agree with you. I think that New Wave or Synth, once again, we go through it. Flock of Seagulls. Yes. Kajagugu. Remember Kajagugu was, Too Shy? Yes, uh -huh. of course. Right. Once again, Men Without Hats came to me this week. Right? And there were a few bands out of Australia that had the same similar sound. I think Dexy's Midnight Runners were not British, nor I, were they American. I, think I believe were, you're correct. They were probably like New Zealand. Or I think they're some weird. The land of overalls. I think they're from. a fucking sheep. I think they're in Australia. They were fucking sheep. I'm not paying for that one. That one's okay. <laughs> I just don't understand by that no one. No sheep were offended. I love in Australians this. and New Zealanders. I just want to, you know, by saying that I love them, I'm not being against them at all. I okay. don't know if you know that. Like when I say like I'm not against half half Mexicans. Yes. I have nothing against half Mexicans. I just I loathe all of you. All of us. Yeah. All the half breeds. 
Shit, that didn't come out right. Oh, I had to pay for that. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm running out of money. I'm not even making money, and I'm running out of money. Like two nickels. Hey, okay, so. I don't have two nickels as, rubbed together. As a quick, please, if you find this entertaining at all, please go on our site and donate some money, because I'm apparently paying for a lot of things, and I can't afford them. Like my new hair plugs. Yeah, and like the websites. <laughs> so, yeah, please, please feel free to donate. Uh, I will be opening a bunch of stuff to do that, but still. I'm excited. Regardless. Why? I don't know. I think I'm sorry for being we, excited. When we split our Jerry Seinfeld checks that we signed uh, from Super Happy Fun Time out. Yeah, okay. Why, why, super Happy Fun Time. Super ha- Stop, stop. I'm stopping because I will go on a way different tangent. So now. So I, 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 I was going to go with um, Blue Monday by New Order. Love that. And song. I love the long version, seven and a half minutes. And I, it, it, the sound... It, they created new order, created a sound all to themselves, all electronic. It was just a dude erasure. Yes. But anyway, without, there, they created their own sound. Yes. They, they, it was a guy and four dudes with keyboards or synthesizers. There was no drummer. There was no, it was just dudes standing around with electronic equipment. And that was completely unheard of. Unheard of. And I liked that. Beat sound. machines didn't exist. All these other things came into the 80s. Yes. And to your point, your ba- the band that you went to again? New Order just New now? Order. Right. Love Triangle. Yeah. You remember that? That's, Absolutely. that's the, I mean they're like 1 and 1A. One I love the blue I love the Blue Monday thought process. I do I like that song a lot. So however it wasn't my favorite. The question is And also wasn't it it wasn't popular enough. In my mind, Not so yet. No. I Love threw it was out. Bigger. It was the Orgy remake that actually really put it back on the map. Do you remember they did that <sighs> no. in the early two th- late 90s, early 2000s? I didn't know that. Orgy did a phenomenal cover, like a heavier. You know how like Disturbed did Shout? Yes. It's fu- Would you argue that's a, you like that? Do I do. Like- okay. Because I'm not a big Tears for Fears fan. Right. But that's a good same song. Same era. Yeah. Same exact thing. Tears Reimagine Fears yeah. with this energy behind it show this and that's yeah. what driving how does it feel and it's like really driving where the other one's like ding 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 because it's different you know something it's, else i just thought it was could have been pet shop boys too yeah pet shop. oh my um, west end girls yeah they had opportunities they had a bunch of songs that were very popular as well they did so uh, i had to pick a song in that i felt like i had to pick a song in that genre because that New wave sound was so big in the eighties. Huge. So I went with um, Simple Minds. Don't you forget about me, because everybody knows the song and everyone knows Breakfast Club. So yep. it was a two for one special. It was a movie soundtrack, as well as a, as well as that it was in that genre. And it's and it's forever associated with the Brat Pack. I yes. mean, let's be honest. The Brat Pack. If you were to say what group. What group would like encapsulate? What entertainment group would encapsulate the eighties? You just say the Brat Pack. You've got like ten of them. I mean, it's not that many, but it's well. I Google, would agree. Ali Sheedy, Molly Ringwald, Emilio, Anthony Michael Hall was like Cusper. I don't know if he was in it, but not Rob Lowe, Demi Moore, Andrew McCarthy, Judd Nelson, and they all bled off into other movies. They did, which is a whole other. Well, Molly. Was before yes. I mean, she went into St. Elmo's as the star, right? I mean, Molly she, Ringwald was not. Well, she was in not in St. Elmo's. Elmo's that's right. She's and she was she's in the Brat Club, Packer. Sixteen Candles, Sixteen Candles, Pretty in Pink, Pretty in Pink, uh, Pretty Horses, All the Pretty Horses. I don't know that one. It's right after with Andrew McCarthy. Right after, okay. Like, when Wild Horses are some weird. It's a weird one. Okay. And then she moved to France. Then well, she we poo pooed. Then she came back and she did the stand. Whatever it takes. Which, by the way, this is the fucking stand by by. Just so you know, I'm not going to read it again. No, you have to watch the miniseries. It's way worth it. It's probably the best. It's probably the best uh, adaptation. It, okay, it's really that. I read good. the book, and I. It's been so many years. Oh, it's such a good book too. It was twelve or thirteen hundred pages. I mean, it, was it was such a good book, but I didn't read it. Yeah, yeah, because the adaptation was that. That's good. That's like saying you're so beautiful, but I'm blind. No. Yes, it is. Because I can feel. Okay. I'm, no, this is worse. Mine's worse. I'm just telling you right now, mine's worse. Reel it in, bro. I know. I read the I read the the miniseries on TV. 
subtitles from in French. We were walking. It was we we boo boo. Hey, we got a disease. Oh no, what are we going to do? Put some wee wee on it. Well, if you're Mexican, your grandmother would pee on your feet in the backyard. You'd would you be like okay. some pamphlets? I'll just drink some fucking disinfectant. We'll be all fine. And someone fucking took this seriously. I know. We're not going to talk about stupidity today. It's, well, it's going to be incorporated. So, don't you bum bum ba dum. Probably, if, if there was a song of the 80s, I probably, that's in the running for if you only had one. Absolutely. At, like, without a doubt, one. If you had one song to choose. And that was one of two songs that made multiple lists of the people that I chatted with. Which I thought, I thought it was, I tried to look at trends to see who picked what and why and where, what overlapped and what didn't. And I thought in itself was interesting, I thought. I love that convergence because it really, I, I would almost argue that music was not a forethought the way it is now going into a movie. Absolutely. Because of cross promotion. All this, everyone did this. It was like, if you were on NBC, you couldn't be on fucking ABC. Right. So if you were doing X, you couldn't do Y. Right. They didn't have a lot of that. They didn't realize how much, how powerful that was. Kind of weird they came late to the party in that. Right? Like you would think, I mean, McDonald's has been doing cross promotion with their Abbey Mill forever. But you would think like, if I let them be on Jay Leno and David Letterman and Conan and Jimmy Kimmel, more eyes will see them. Ta-da. So like a rising tide lifts all ships, right? Or something like that. Yes, absolutely. It fucking seems so myopic. The non-collaborative part of, and that was 80s, selfishness, decadent. I mean, there's a yeah. lot of that just in general. So I start thinking about the, the way it felt in the 80s. Very, it that, was the stockbroker Wall Street. Yes, it was absolutely uh, fucking capitalism and greed. Yeah, greed yes. is good. For lack of a better word, yes. Greed is good, my friend. Okay, so two, done. How hard was this third one after you Incredibly had two Incredibly difficult. Because now you got one and you got one shot. Yes, and I, I wanted to, I thought about going with Berlin, uh, the Metro. So I really liked that, the sound of the... The te- a little bit of techno. It's rhythmic. Good lyrics. It's rhythmic. It, Riding on the man. Yes. Great, dun, 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 great dun. voice. I have a good acoustic version of that, by the way. I would like to hear it. And that. it's by them. It's by Berlin themselves. They're fucking phenomenal. However, the, again, the question is, it's not my favorite. It, it's one of my favorite songs of the eighties from that, from that new wave sound, but that's not the question. Right. Could, could, is, 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 the Metro from Berlin really a quintessential 80s song? No. No, it's not. It's, it's not. And I like Keep Feeling Fascination. Oh, absolutely. As doodle I just, something about that song is so inca- What about Tainted Love? Oh, yeah. Well, it's Soft Cell, but yes. I'm just talking, isn't those Berlin, two, right. Yes, but those two songs right. sound, to me sound very similar. Yes. Oh, yeah. So dun, the Fascination dun, 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 and Tainted Love. The whole thing. You, and I ran. We'd write. You could say absolutely. That's interesting. Flock of Seagulls didn't make a list. We can dance if we want to. I mean, they all have that yes. synthy kind of feel to them. Yes. That's where something like one we'll talk about in a little bit was interesting because it was right in that time and it. I don't think it had synth, but I had fucking fiddle. Ugh. Dexy's Midnight Runners, obviously. Yes, sir. So. Everybody was coming on Eileen. <laughs> They're like, God damn. This is not Eileen's a, like, oh, this is not, uh, a, uh, not a, uh, what was that? Ram it deep? Ram it hard, hard ramming? Down, down, ram it down. Ram it down. This is not a porn cast, dude. <laughs> so I had to kick off Berlin because it's not. I'm with you. It's, it's not. Yeah. And you have it kind of covered. I mean, in a I weird did. way, you well, have it I covered. I really wanted to pick them. I know. But they, I knew so that it wasn't appropriate right so I, I had to kick it off the list and then it, i got down to the wire i said i said 5 p.m monday was the deadline and i at 4 58 i went oh my god i had four or five songs and i had to i had to i just had to drop the hammer drop and get it over with so i picked billy idol rebel yell rebel yell is a good one and i think part of the reason why i picked that is it's it had a the post partly a post apocalyptic feel to it. The video a little bit, 
which I, and the eighties was a lot of the cold war and Reagan and, you know, I bomb shelters, not as yeah. obviously not as much as like the, you know, with, 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 with Kennedy and Cuba, but it wasn't right. like that. Go build a bomb. Well, the cold war was worse. The well, cold, the cold war was all, it was the Blair Witch Project. It was all anticipation. Correct. All fucking, uh, what's Cor- that called? It's all form and no function. It's foreplay. It did not fucking happen. And but then, we were scared to shit yes. that we were all going to blow And then the day up. after tomorrow comes out or whatever that movie was in yeah. 83. And yeah. the dude's walking around after the city blew up. Jason Robarbs. And oh, and that's what you see when you're 12 years old. So that a lot of the entertainment tapped into that. Yeah. That, that. That that part of the '80s that had the Cold War in it, and how Russia is bad, and they're red, and how America and that played into mine a little bit when we talk about that. When we talk about my list as well, there was just because Reagan was there for eight years. Yes, eighty to eighty-eight. Yes. Boom. Yes. He was there the whole fuck. He, he was, was there he was for the, the decade. decade. He was the decade. I mean, yeah, obviously, and you know, you you're going to be spend eight of the ten years, and you start on. It's not like he started seventy-eight. Right. And went like seventy-eight to eighty-six. It's only mid '80s. He was the entire started in eighty, ended eighty seven, eighty eight, whatever it was, and well, that was January of eighty nine. Is eighty not? No, the election would have been November eighty eight. Correct. He would, and then he would, would have been left 89. the White correct. House. January eighty nine. Correct. That's what. That's what I was looking for. <gasps> Magic. Oh, sorry. Well, you didn't see that. Thank <laughs> you. I'm not paying for that one because you can't see it on the video. Thank God. <sighs> um, he was scratching his belly button. Oh. I'm still stuck in there. I can't get oh, out. Oh, that's tough. I'd said I'd take a trap. Oh, get a shovel. Anyway, where do we go from here? We're that's on my list. song three. That's my list. Turned out to be Billy Idol. Billy Idol Rebel Yell. Yes. Let's talk about Billy for a second. Sure. I'm glad you didn't go with Moni Moni, although Ugh. that's the song you would if I were to say an eighties defining song. However, I caveat that with it being a cover. But it's a cover of Tommy James and Shondells from the '60s. I, I, I of course, I, we, we all know it's a cover, but it was huge, fucking huge. And and Rebel Yell, I get. I would have gone. I'm like, I think White Wedding. I, I love. I, White that's Wedding. why I didn't pick White Wedding. What water? It's a great song, and his hair is amazing. Come on! But I didn't pick White Wedding because of the popularity. Correct. I wanted to get something that was slightly less popular. I thought about dancing with myself as well because right, that the other also one. had a, that po- a post-apocalyptic feel to it. So it, it was a po- toss-up between those last two. Regardless, the the choice of of Billy Idol's great because he was the '80s. He was in Absolutely. the '80s. He yeah. had nothing to do with the '90s. Not really. He had one song on the Ford Fairlane soundtrack. I know that I crashed my car to. Rock the cradle of love. Correct. Oh, I have that on Laserdisc. It is right outside this door. You have no idea how much I love Adventures of Fort Fairlane. It's like my be watching fa- that bullshit. I'm just an asshole named Sam Asswipe. We will not be watching that bullshit because we have Star Wars on Laserdisc. Oh, oh, we do have Star Wars. And not only did Han shoot motherfucking first, Greedo didn't even get a goddamn shot off. It's like a double fuck. <laughs> Fucking get that red poker. Red, a double red, fuck. Yes, yes. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's a little opinionated. So, can can we go through... I would love to do the whatever first, you want to do. Let's do the list, and then I'll do mine. Because that sounds lovely. Let's, let's end with my three, that because they're, they're different. <laughs> so okay. I can't see they're So here different. we go. The first list... Which I, I really I really like. This is a good song, and I should have thought of it. Uh, Modern English. I'll stop the world and melt with you. It's a great song. It's so eighties. Yeah, and so I, I kind of kick myself for not thinking about that song. But it's don't you? Yeah, not thinking about it's one thing, but yeah, it's eighties. Second, uh, my, simple mind, same as me. Third was GNR. Welcome to the jungle. And that's a. Late eighty, it didn't see to me. It was late eighties. It really didn't define the eighties to me. More of like a po- mid eighties, like Poison, Cinderella, uh, you know, Wasp, even. 
Wasp, but not to find the 80s, dude. I know, but you understand. That whole era was not there without that. Quiet Riot and Rat, that was hair metal. Yeah, that started, yeah of course. I mean, and I hair agree. metal was the 80s. It, yes. it ended in the 90s when Alternative took over. I, I, of course. You know, or Grunge and yes, all the other course. shit. When right, yeah, they, yeah. they had hair, but they just didn't wash it or something. I, I don't fucking know what they flannel. did. Flannel. Yeah. Because it was raining. Because Paul Bunyan was not there? Yes. Because Portland had to have Antifa? I, 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 don't, I can't I don't help you with that, sir. All right. <laughs> the second list. Number one, we are the world. Yeah. It was in the 80s, so how can you not connect it to the 80s? Because it was in the it happened in the 80s. When it was an event kind of thing. I don't know. It was an event kind of thing. It wasn't really a song as much as it was like a movement. I'm not a I'm not a big a I mean I'm but not But I get a, it. I of course I agree. Of course. Uh second on the second list, Our House by Madness. That was a great fucking choice i agree it's got horns yes it's got some synth it's got some almost like a violin-y sunday bus mother died in his arrest the kids are playing up downstairs people playing in the streets ah. it's, good, it's still a good song it's and it day. holds up yeah, yeah it's just it's a still, cr- you know what yeah. it's just a good fucking song yeah. let's call it a good song still i still like it now i do too and they're interesting. They're fun. They're just a fun. Like they have they, a great. They have a lot of good songs that nobody's ever. Heard Mighty of. Mighty Boss Tone started in the eighties. Yes. I would not have them define that because they kind of got bigger in the nineties. Right, but, but they have ska, the same. They started ska. They have that same. The horn section with the bouncy sound. <sighs> and now I just thought of fucking eighteen more. Fuck such as goddamn son of a bitch. Okay, next. Uh, third on that list was "We Don't Have to Take Our Clothes Off" by Jermaine Stewart. Would you care to comment on this? I would one? not. I don't. I just don't care for the song. Right, the well, song's I mean, horrible. You know but no, think of AIDS. Think of HIV. Eighties, AIDS. AIDS was an eighties disease. Of course, people got it in seventy nine, eighty, eighty one, whatever. Right, band played on. Started. If you ever watch that HBO special, one of the best doc, like docudramas. Matthew Modine is like a doctor. It's called the and the band played on. It's on HBO. Please watch it. I. It is so touching about how it got. Like kind of like how they're trying to find patient zero kind of thing. They go through the whole HIV and how uh, they start. Thing and okay. No, I did not. It's really interesting. It's a very gonna, interesting. You need to remind me about that. I will. Um, that said, um, shit. I don't, I, I, it's, I don't mind the song. I don't know if I would think that it defines the decade. I agree. I'm just, I'm thinking from that standpoint of if that person lived in an area that was abstinence driven oh. and HIV is a big scare and in people Frisco. are fucking super like okay. Bible okay. belty or something, I can totally see that being very much pushed as an agenda, right? It was an agenda song, right? Don't take your clothes off. Don't fuck. Right. Right. I mean, obviously it's just don't get AIDS. Oh. I know, but that, they never said, you don't have to keep your condom off. <laughs> To have a good time. Or you don't have to take your condom off to have a good time. Keep it on. See, why didn't they do that? You don't have to take your rubber off. I like that version to have way a better. Good time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sad that I even know any of that. It's scary. I will say, as a DJ, I never played that. I'm just telling you right now, I never played that fucking song. Me ever. either. I heard it once or twice on the radio right before I changed the station. By the way, that's the point. You don't like it? Change a goddamn station. That's your. Uh, all righty then. I'm not gonna be paying next for list. That. Yes, next list. Wait, wait. Can you go to the three of those of that person again? Yes. Was it? We are the world. Madness, and Jermaine. God, that was a fucking horrendous sandwich. You got madness. It was like arguably a great. It could a top 100 song of all time. Arg. Yes. It's just a great song. I see why you And then you, you say sandwich that. it between We Are the World. Is that like voting between a douche and a turd sandwich? Well, no, it's the it's like taking it's like having a piece of bacon with shit on each side I for understand. bread. Yes. This is sh- I understand. Because it's bacon. Yeah. And pop. Guess what I would do though if there was shit on each side of the bacon? Wash it off and eat the bacon? I'd just eat it. It's bacon. <laughs> Sorry. This message has been brought to Once you by Farmer John. I apologize for my lack of sanity. Wash your hands, everybody. There's some kind of pandemic or something. Stay safe. There's some medic. I'm demic of some sort. Pan. Pandemic, I think. 
Uh, okay. Next, next list. Next list. Jump by Van Halen. There was your jump. Yes, I Got forgot it. about that. So no, that's okay. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. Yeah. Next. Uh, I, I, it's a good choice. And yes, of 80, course. Van Halen was big and he, even huge. Fuck, fuck was in 89? 91. That's right, it was 91. And that was Hagar's first? Third. So he was in right here, right now. Was right here, right now, 89? No, was that it? Was that 91? No. Okay, oh, we're going to have to Google this 50 shit. 5150 was 86. Was Sammy's Oh, that was first. his first one. Never mind. We're good. 88 oh, was you only two and two. Okay, we're good. We're good. Then was fuck. Right. was his third. Right. And I've got a fuck story. But not about fucking, unfortunately. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm down so disappointed. It's from awful carnal knowledge. <laughs> Next on the list after jump is, or do you have anything else to add about guns, about uh, Van Halen? No. Do you have anything you'd like to add? I, I, they're one of my favorite bands. Love them, both Hagar and uh, Sammy. Favorite? And, uh, Even Dave? the extreme guy? No, fuck no. Fuck that guy. He did one fucking... Like four songs, didn't he? He did an album. More than albums. <laughs> More than Hagar. More than turds. What was your question? Favorite Van Halen song. Dreams. Off of if you do a fifty. I'm your ice cream fan. That's a great song too. Running with the devil. Fuck. Yeah, even well, early shit We could do good. a top three know, list of Van Halen songs. We're fucked. We couldn't do a top three. Because they're so bad and so great. They're fucking phenomenal. They're really good. Oh, yeah. And I'm not a, I'm not a Roth fan. I just know he well, was Well, he good. had great too many stage covers. presence. Right. Too many covers in his solo career. Oh, well, of course. California Girls. I know. Much. Just Gigolo. Just Gigolo. Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's terrible. That's <laughs> terrible. I, I cannot tell a lie. He should have shaved his fucking chest before he did <laughs> that video. Do I, I do like just like Paradise. I did like that yeah. song a oh, lot. Look. It's good. Okay. Jump. Next. Thank God. GNR, welcome to the jungle for the Again, second vote. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh welcome to the show. Welcome back. <laughs> God, this list sucks or something. Third on that list would be All Night Long by Lionel Richie. I love that song. I hate to say it, but I love that song. That's okay. Why didn't Hello make the list and All Night Long did? Uh, is Hello in the 80s or is it is late it 70s? Is it me you're looking for? No, that was, that was him. It was him. No, was that Commodore? It was him. That was it him. was him it when was him. she was, was blind and doing the sculpting. Oh, Lionel, come down to the studio. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I dated a woman who, in the bathroom, as you reached for something to wipe with, with which you should wipe, it says, hello, is it TP you're looking for? I thought it was cute. I still find it cute to this day. Okay, all right. New information. Is just it in. TP you're looking for? Ooh. Uh, I'm Dude, if one. I get that stuck in my head from now on, I'm so coming You started out. it. I, I, you said it. I didn't I say did it. not. Ooh. You said hello. Oh, and I did. <laughs> Shit, it's my fault. Oh, sorry. That's, for, got, that's for you. I got the finger. You can give it back. Actually, we could probably just look at each other and give each other fingers like, <laughs> fuck you. Ah! All right. Moving along. In all my long. opinion, the most eclectic list, which I give a lot of credit. What was after All Night Long? That was the third of that oh. list. Next list. NWA. Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Someone coming straight from the underground. Got to it down because I'm brown. I just, I know a lot of it. <laughs> Get out of here, you motherfucker. I know a lot of it. Na, 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 na. I would have picked a different. Uh, NWA song? Yes. Or different? I was trying to think of uh, noir with attitudes. <laughs> like, I'm trying to think of a different word. NWA. Let's Northwest Airlines. Yes. So, uh, anything else? Uh, I would have gone with Express Yourself. Okay. By Madonna? No. 
by NWA. Okay. Express yourself. I'm just special with my full capability. And now I'm resting in correctional facilities. I, it's so fucking good. Anyway, yes. Next. Okay. Sorry. I, I know you're fan. You're fandom. fandom. No, it's okay. That's It's an open-ended question. I, I understand that that... I know, but uh, I have res- it's our it's no, our mutual no, no. respect for us because we love each other, bro. You're sis, bro, 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 Teddy bro. A uh, second on the list, ACDC, Back in Black. Great choice. Would have been yours of ACDC. Mine, no. Hell's bells. Uh, ugh. of the eighties or of ACDC? Uh, it would be eighties. It had to be an eighties defining. I'd have to go through their catalog, but probably or... like shoot to thrill. Some because they not have big a, enough though. Is of course, it? it's not. Well, Man. okay, that's I'm, all right. I'm saying, which one do you think would be the most recognizable? Obviously, well, you shook, shook me, me all night, night long. long. It's overplayed. It's oh, you disgusting. and I, my friend, we need to stop talking it's to each other. Dust, like that. You get the uh, hello, I, hello. Uh, uh, <laughs> for those about to rock, we salute you. I like Hell's Bells. It's good. It is. What's that? That's Hell's Bells, right? That's for those with no. the rock. Oh, no. No, it was. That no, is no. Hell's Bells. Yeah. You're correct. Oh, there's another one that sounds just like that, though, and I can't, I don't know why I don't know it. But I Rolling thunder, pouring rain, coming along like a hurricane. That's Hell's Bells. Did you just say that? Rolling thunder, pouring rain, coming on like a hurricane. Nice. That's Hell's Bells. Holy shit, scorpions. Right, nobody's picked Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> No rocking like your hurricane. No, there was no whistling at all in any list. That is really weird. Thank God. But there wasn't much whistling in the 80s music. I think, oh dear Jesus. It was big in the 60s and then made, made a re-thing in like for about six months in the 2000s. God, kill it. Kill it. I agree. Well, I will not, no, Guns sitting on the Roses, dock of the bay. Guns N' Roses had a whistling. Oh, fuck, you did. Patience, right? Or something? So you've been walking the streets at night just trying to get it right. Yes? Yeah. Let's wrap that up. Hard to be with so many around. You know I don't like being stuck in the ground. Streets don't don't change, but baby, the names. I ain't got time for your games and I need you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. (laughs) Well, I need you. Ooh, I need you. Yeah, I need you this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had an argument with a girlfriend. Every rose has its thorn or patience as our song. Well, I think you should do used to love her. And she's buried right in the backyard. I didn't even bang her. Oh, damn it. I ain't even used to banger. <laughs> Let's wrap it up, bro. Okay, keep going. Okay. So third on the list. <laughs> we need, we're getting hungry. After NWA and ACDC was Duran Duran, Planet Earth. I thought was Not the hungry. song, but great. Well. It, Rio, Hungry Like a Wolf. What's the, what's the, I uh, look um, to a kill, view to a kill. Yes. What Fucking about Girls eight, on Film? But it, yes. And it, but it crossed, right? Once again, yes. James Bond being 80s. But most Sean people Henry. don't know that song by Duran Duran. Kill? Yeah. Okay. I'll give you that. I, I mean, no, no. I you hear it all the time. Point. But so Duran Duran and has yours a is good. bunch of songs. Yeah, but it's all 80s. A Duran Duran song in the 80s is absolutely 100% acceptable. I actually encourage. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely defines it. Anything else? Uh, is that it? No, there's oh, a bunch more. Wondering. Yeah, it's I stopped. Okay, next list was Dire Straits, Money for Nothing. Love that song. I've been waiting for that to come up. I think that's a great choice. I would that's agree. The, that's the music video song. Because you've yeah. got Sting in the background of all fucking people going, I want my MTV. And it goes in. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's so fucking great. Yes, I, I, would, I, yeah. I agree. Uh, Phil Collins, Easy Lover. Hate that song choice like the artist. I would have gone in the air tonight. Band of Confusion. Wow. In Too Deep. Invisible Touch. Studio. Studio. I mean, what's so the many. coming home? Yeah. That's phenomenal. Mama! Not that one. I'm coming home. Isn't that the one? 
I'm coming home. <laughs> Isn't that the one? No. Maybe I don't know it. No, you don't. That's not it. Oh, dun, dun, dun. No, that's uh, looking at me. It's and really it's good. the same. It's just, that's all. That's yes. The one I'm oh, getting. that one's I'm good, too. I'm getting it confused, yeah. Land of Confusion's my favorite well, yeah. fucking music video. I mean, just that's just... That the really fucking is, puppets that, with that, Reagan that, and... Oh. That could be the video of the 80s if you don't want to count like Thriller. Correct. So... That, and I don't know how high the up that is, but it should be up there. Um, Voted on by us saying, subjectively, it should be up there. It was so well done. Absolutely. And, and it, making fun of... The, I mean, that goes back to the Cold War. It's and, fun. It was good. It was... But it was just quality. Ab- oh. Yeah, and the song's great. It is good, too. So, what, regardless of the video... <laughs> I just think... It's a no fun being an illegal alien. You remember that one? Yes. And the fucking how racist was that shit? <laughs> how racist were those fuckers? Phil Collins, I think, didn't he have the pencil thin mustache, a little sub-bread? Like, He's a no fun being on a legal and he's got the poncho on if i'm not mistaken oh, i don't remember the video i'm gonna look that up i hope i'm right I don't but i that. hope i'm also wrong because i like phil collins before he became a racial bigot racist bigot and i have to i have to cancel culture him i have to cancel him i don't know why but i'm gonna have to after this okay could check mark come back please he's, check mark is welcome look check mark has been quiet for a long time he's at welcome. least hour hour and minutes minutes and hours one hour six minutes he's been quiet oh, Okay, next. I, check Mark oh, is welcome all the time. He has an open invitation well, to reappear. I can't, I'm not saying you, that. I know what you were going to think. No, you yes. have no idea. Yes, I do. Nope. It's going to still record. I can't. Nope. We'll talk offline. I can't oh, do it. Lord. It's alliteration with your last name, and it had to do with your accent that you did. Yeah. And it's not I know, very. I knew. Oh, you I knew. Knew. oh yeah. fuck it. I love you. He's gonna choke on his headphone. I'll give you a hug. Uh, That's how fucking much. It's a pandemic hug. Fuck social distancing. (laughs) Except social intimacy is what I say. Uh, Yeah, that sounds like a great Twitter tweet. All right. Um, I can't believe that you were gonna go pee. Yeah. Pee pee. Pee pee. Isn't that what you were gonna go to? You were gonna go check mark, and I was gonna go Pradeep. Oh, it's not Pradeep. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, it's not ready. Okay. No, oh, I can. We I can. I here. I I draw under under here. So it is first letter, second letter, third I don't, letter. I, I got. I, we'll talk about this later. I can't. I don't read air writing very well. I I don't write air writing very well. <laughs> so that works. <laughs> that works great. I'm, I don't do sign language. I'm. Don't, I. Yeah. I'm next. Only, Nope. <laughs> Not saying that one either. That's going to hurt better. That one will. Okay. I third can't. on that list after We Dyer's... need to take a list of all the things we don't say while we're doing this oh, so that we can shit. have an after podcast for ourselves. We'll have to re-watch this bullshit and go, oh yeah, I was going to say... <laughs> 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 Diarrhea of the mouth. Uh, That's a good name for a show. Verbal diarrhea? Sure. Yes. Third on the list after Dire Straits and Phil Collins was GNR Sweet Child of Mine. Okay. Guns N' Roses three times. Fuck, that's too many for. Well, they were too late in the. In the well, eighty seven. The album was massive. Was eighty seven or eighty nine? Eighty seven. Because when was Use Your Illusion? No, that was one and two. That was nine. Patience 91. was was eighty nine. So it was eighty seven, eighty nine. No, Gene Our Lies. Gene Our Lies. I don't was, know the second album. I don't okay. remember. I don't remember when the second album came out. Appetite for Destruction, then Gene Our Lies. But that's what Appetite I remember. Appetite was eighty seven. Correct. Okay, I I I totally am on board with that. And I still think Sweet Child, even though it's overplayed, is still a great song. And I'm okay. The beginning of that is very much unmatched by a lot of songs. There's, it's hard to go. That beginning, the picking, yes, that and whole thing. The whole beginning of that. And it, yeah, that's diff. That was that was built. But, and that's then it rocked, built, right? And it just built so up. It was you gotta a, give it. it I don't even think you could call that a power ballad. Because it was... It wasn't. It was a rock song. It was a fucking... It right. was just a hard... It was a high-energy song. Yeah. It's still great. Even yeah. though it was overplayed, I think it's still a great song. I'm... You know, Welcome to the Jungle in Paradise City, I'm sick of. Better than the other two. I it's agree. better than the other two. I agree. Of the three, it's the best. I agree. Moving on, next list was Glenn Fry Heat Is On. 
Okay. From Beverly Hills Cop one. Yep. Uh, he yep. okay. Moving on because you're not a Glenn Fry fan. Glenn Fry's dead. And not just to me. He's he's literally. We dead. understand he's dead, dude. For God's sake, Jesus. Well, he's talented eagle. You okay. Didn't hear that I'm gonna pay for that one, dude. Just... No, you're not. <laughs> Oh, you know what, I've dude? I've been meaning to tell you for a while. Fuck Elvis Costello. <laughs> Veronica. Uh, that do, one, do, do, I don't mind that one. Do, but do, the rest of it, Veronica. shut up. What's the Book of Love? I remember that one. It was ABC. No, 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 that one. The Book of Love? That was The Look of Love. You said no, The Book of the Love? The Book of Love was, was in a Costello song. Uh, I Sure. But it wasn't, I wonder, okay, wonder. it wasn't that Next. One. Monica. Oh. No Volbeat, no Elvis Costello. I was doing the monochromes from the 60s. Okay, so after Glenn Fry, who's dead to everyone, would be Huey Lewis in the news, I Want a New Drug. Huey Lewis is a phenomenal song. It wouldn't be I Want a New Drug for me, but I get it. So, yes. He had a lot of great songs. If Power of Love. It. This is of, it. Yes, but Power Please of Love off of Back to the Future. Please let me know. going to Back in time. That was different. That was I, also I on that album. I know. I was just thinking Soundtrack. about that. That Saturday Night Live skit with dealing where uh, Michael J. Fox goes on the elevator. He's like, "You're my, you're Michael J. Fox." I don't remember that. And they're going up the elevator. He's gonna go back in time. We'll play it after. Oh this. yes, it. it's hilarious. I, yes, okay. It's one of the. One. It's yeah, one yeah, of. Yeah. I think he Hartman comes on. They get on the elevator later. I mean. <sighs> Okay, so after those choices that you don't care for, oh no, you, I'm um, good. I'm good. What was what else was popular on that album besides "I Want a New Drug"? When he sticks his face in the sink with the ice, there was like two or three other songs that were huge on that album. Sports, remember that that album? Yeah, I had the tape. Keep talking, please, as I as I do some research. So I I, I mean I remember that very well, but there was three or four other songs on that album that were really really he had. Five top tens in a row. So, and you heard what happened. We talked about that. Yeah, he had some thing. He's got throat something froze up on where he couldn't sing and then he couldn't hear. Yes, he had a hearing, and it happened while he was on stage. And that was a couple years ago. It's I don't know the latest, but it's really sad. I'm not going to go political, but I will mention Rush Limbaugh. Do you remember when he had a hearing loss? No. Okay, he lost his hearing for a while, and he almost had to quit his show or whatever. Okay, turns out it was. And other people have talked about it, so I, I'm not trying to slander, and I hope I'm you know, not saying incorrect things as fact. I'm not saying this is fact. My understanding was it was a side effect of some fucking drug he was, of that shit he was abusing. Remember how he had a drug problem? Yes. It was a side like a, effect. Like a, Hearing a loss prescription with, drug? Yeah, like a co- oxy. He got oh, on oxy or so something. Was she a, got hooked on okay, something. Okay. A pair, allegedly got hooked on something. Allegedly one of the side effects of that drug is that. Is a hearing loss. It's crazy, crazy as shit. Crazy shit. Um, Huey Lewis, sports album. Go. Okay, keep going, man. Track list, mother trucker. Keep going down. Harder rock and roll. There it is. There you go. Thank you. That was huge. Now the heart of rock and roll still beating. Heart and soul. It's heart and soul. Bump, bum, bum. But if this um, is it, um, those this are, is it. Those that are whole, yeah, the whole that album. album is our, our number one hits. You know what? That's a, Huey Lewis is a band that of if we were going three bands that that define Huey Lewis would ha, would be arguably up there. It'd that be, al- would have to be that album could intense. be the album of could could obviously Thriller, but that that could be the album of the decade. I want a new drug. If this is it, it's four. Solid songs out of four number four. one songs. I it, bet you they yeah, were all number good. one on Billboard. We'll look, and it's hard because we keep saying that. But you know how like hit one hundred and the technical on paper number one is like sometimes different. Like the top forty, Casey Kasem. Yeah, when that's Gage, Gage, what I'm talking about. 40, that four list. It, I yes. bet in me. Here's a long distance dedication from me to you. I'm you excited remember? about that dedication. Or Rick D's top forty. I remember that top forty kind of. I'm Rick D's. <laughs> I'm Rick D's. D's nuts. Boom. He didn't start that, did he? No. His name's just Rick D's. Yeah, but he didn't start D's Nuts. No, it was probably Snoop Dogg started D's Nuts. the streams. Because yeah. I grew up listening to Rick D's in yeah. L.A. I just did a white guy trying to be Snoop Dogg. D's Nuts. 
<laughs> Gee walkers, you got me. Okay. Fish. Let's wrap it up. Third on the list. Why the, the, another reason for why we shouldn't take the condom off to have a good time. Let's wrap it up. Right, you better wrap the gavel up, B. So, third on the list, St. Elmo's Fire theme. Another Brat Pack, we're good. Yes. I did hear that song way too many times. Wait for it. While I was working at Home Depot the summer of my freshman year of college, but it was the elevator version of it. So there was no lyrics. Every four out, you know, they had the shitty hole music, uh, you know. Muzak, thank yes, you. Yes, Muzak, correct. And I think they're still around. They are. I'm going to talk about that after oh, you're dear done. dear God, Jesus. So every four hours I heard that song for four months. I was like, please, just put a rake through my face. It's like I went out in I the went garden to- section. Like when I went to Chipotle at the same time at lunch, those same fucking songs. Yes, it's like yes, you've got to vary either your location, most people, or your time. Most people don't hear it anymore. If you're work there, oh yeah, most people don't even hear no, it anymore. It's like drip, but it's it's Chinese torture for you. That yeah, to me, I'm very that shit pisses me off. Turn it the fuck off. You can keep doing that. I don't care about your. Drippy I was doing chippies. a pretty cool drippy. I was doing a cool drippy song. It was fantastical. I think oh, you should hit some it. of those weird buttons over there. Hit some buttons. Which buttons? Like the do 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 The give me a things? trombone or some shit. Oh, womp, womp, womp. <laughs> oh sorry. Give me this. <laughs> <laughs> that should have that been was played. Fucking awful. Actually, Wait, the- that would have been appropriate after the Glenn Fry. Hey, what do you think about our <laughs> podcast? Okay, that was that, that was fantastic. I can't believe I touched that with my toe. That, that was, was sexy. That was gross. I got to fucking disinfect this whole place. You should do that anyway. Mm. Off topic. Moving on. I have some people couldn't give me their top three, so they rattled yeah. off a bunch, and one. So I only wrote down one because I couldn't keep track. Yeah. Dire Straits, Brothers in Arms. I thought that was the album. I didn't know that was an actual song. I don't know that song at all. So, I, don't, I don't even know if I know that song. I believe it's the album, but I, didn't, I guess it's the title track as well. I have not. But if you're going to do Dire Straits, there's only one song you can choose. I'm sorry. I don't want to sound I like agree. judgy, but that's what we do. We're having fun with this. I still think I'd only pick one song from Dire Straits. And if it was in the 70s, I would have picked Romeo and Juliet. Sure. Do you know that one? No. No, you know what? I don't even know if that was in the 70s. Or it might have been the 80s. I think probably on the same album. Okay. I'm going to pay for that one, too. My ignorance. No, you're not. Okay, next. Okay. Last list before yours, sir. The Miami Vice theme. Good choice. Yeah. Everyone knows it. Yeah. God, I love that. I remember. Remember when you had to- and Tubbs. Remember when you have to actually show up on the couch at a certain time on a certain day? Yeah, it was 10 o'clock you wouldn't Friday get to night see it? on NBC. Or else you wouldn't get to see it? Yes. Fuck. Yeah. Weren't you 9 Central Pacific time? No, I was Pacific. Right. So wouldn't it have been 9? No. 9 Central, 10 Pacific. Uh, see, I'm East Coast, so it was always 9 Eastern, 8 Pacific, or yes. 10 Eastern, 9 Pacific. No, it was always 10 Eastern. 9 Pacific, right? No, it was 9 Central. Right. Central is always an hour early. Well, right, right. No, East no, I know. East West was always... 10 was right. always the latest show. But the reason they did those, I think, they did 10 Eastern and 9 Central, is if it's a live show, then it's 7, 6. And if it was 10 Eastern, 9 Pacific, then it wasn't like a live but, show. I, I could be wrong. I, that's just what I remember from my memory. I, dude. That's what I remember from my memory. Guess what I'm not dying. Well, guess which hill I'm not on which I'm not dying? This one. <laughs> okay. This is one. So, second on the list after Miami Vice. That flower. Hold on. Hold on. My pink flower. It smell good? Mm-hmm. It didn't squirt me with water. Oh, man. It didn't squirt you with water, no, and it come. smells like my oh, new wow. deodorant. So that's great. I don't stink. Nice. Yay, pandemic showering. I like S- pandemic showering. I like all showering. <laughs> so, except for golden. No goldens. Oh. I mean. But okay. retrievers are okay. Yes. All the dogs. No, that's not, not true. Fuck golden doodles. So. <sighs> Who has a golden doodle that you ate? I, we're not going to say the name. Uh, is there somebody who has a golden doodle that you know? There's, yes. Of course. Okay. That's all I need to know. That's, I know that's why you have that. 
I don't know who it is. I'm just saying it. The only reason you have a disdain for something is that you experience it. I'm doing my deep breathing meditation technique. Awesome. <laughs> rub your, rub your so elbow. last, uh, after the Miami Vice theme, take on me by AHA. Possibly, arguably the best video of the 80s next to Absolutely. Thriller. Yeah. And if not, even then, it, and it still holds up. Yes. Because it's animation. It's, it just holds up. It just holds Does up. Does the so song up. hold up without the video? The song's great. But the video holds up. The yes. video is just... It was so. It was just so creative and artistic. Yes, I would agree. It wasn't dancing around a pole, or doing it pole to pole. That was, and it wasn't hands behind your back with Oshkosh Pagoshes with fiddlers playing while they're coming on. Oshkosh Pagoshes. You know, that's a fantastic reference, dude. You remember Oshkosh Pagoshes? Of course. Come on. You are s- obsessed with that shit. I do. I love that. So song. last on the. Are you good? Can we? Move along or not? Yes. Last on the last list is Toto, Africa. Yep. And I only think that that was brought up because of the re-release of Weezer's. It's only in the forefront of mine. I don't think they would have brought it up. That's obviously you're entitled to your, I your think, opinion. I believe, personally believe that if they went Toto and they went with a song, they would have done Rosanna. From the 80s. Oh, yeah. That's oh, every no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did, did you fucking know that Rosanna Arquette had two fucking songs written about her? No. Yeah. That one? Directly. And then I think it was a fucking Journey song or some shit. She wow. had two fucking songs. I'll come back on the next one to, to verify that. We have vetting going on after we listen to this. So uh, okay, good. vetting. That sounds horrible. Okay. okay it's, that's all the lists. This is your original list. Are you ready? No. Mark? Checkmark 1.0. Oh, oh please, please. I am for to looking for my original list, please. Yes. Could check you mark. please for tell me? Uh, hello, it's checkmark there, please. Uh, checkmark is here. I have a special offer. Could I uh, purchase your rental property? Can checkmark? I have checkmark? Oh, yes. You'd like the mark of check? Oh, yes. <laughs> I, do, I deal in ruble, though. I do not deal in the euro or no, the, the American dollar. Yes, many rubles. I lost to some of them. <laughs> it's called scruples. I lost them. Marbles, I have the rubles, but I have no scruples no nor marbles. No scruples or no marbles. The marbles have been lost for years. The scruples have been scrambled, and now I have rubles. So, okay. Not over easy, but scrambled. And then I eat at Ruby Tuesdays. I don't know why. Yeah, you do. But you would eat at the Ruby Tuesdays, would you not? Yes. Ruby. Ruby Tuesdays. Ruby. Okay, list. But, the, you know. But no, no, you please go, continue. But yeah, da, da, da. No, yes, mine is racist according to Checkmark, but Checkmark is not racist according because to Checkmark. Because I'm making fun of white fucking people with accents, not making fun of races. We'll but India is a country, bro. Bro. Look, Just Jews like, aren't even a fucking, they're not, they're a fucking religion, not even an ethnicity. So I agree with that. God, I'm going to pay for that. I don't believe Dude, that, by the way. Run, I'm, bro. I'm a Get big, under the desk. Look, I'm a fan of the Ashkenazi. I'm just going to say it. I'm Who? a fan of the Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi Bagashas? Ashkenazi. We're going to talk about that one at the other one, one of the With topics. the Ash's, the other ones. Okay, your original list, check mark. Yes. Is Sugar Hill Gang, Rappers Delight. I got that wrong. That was made in 1979. Oh. So, it will have to be, no, it's a direct, I will say, okay. a Apache. Jam on it. Jam on it. Ooh. Uh, so ooh, is that oh, your 81? Is that, that no, no, be... no, but that's going to be at the replacement because I had the wrong oh, time. Well, that's this list is arbitrary. Okay. Got it. Second on the list of check mark is dead or alive. You spin me around. Love it. Like a record baby. Right, right round. round or left. Whichever way left you want to spin. If you go left square versus right round, are you okay? No. Damn. You could be the R word and get in trouble again. <laughs> round. Yes. Perhaps. Third on your list was Bruce Springsteen, born in the USA. It's the only one that stayed on that list. Which I question because of the popularity. Because I considered that right up there with Madonna and, and, uh, and, and Michael Jackson, even though I would have picked like Glory Days or a different Bruce song. I, but I understand your thought process. Well, we talked about it with Reagan being such a big part of the Correct. 80s, 84, yes, sir. And how he bastardized that song and used it against i mean he used it as his rallying cry when bruce wrote it as a fucking sad song yes 
So I felt that was a defining moment in the fact where I believe that may have been the, the start of misappropriation. I mean, we talk Perhaps. about this misappropriation culture, right? Have you ever heard mispro- cultural misappropriation yes. or anything like that? Right? Like if I want to well, have that's exactly what he did, right? If I want to have dreadlocks, what I can't cause I'm white. How does that? Of course you can have dreadlocks. Right. I can't, but people will, <laughs> but well, that's like could, but physics it'd be, question. It'd be a skull. It'd be really stupid. <laughs> that's a physics issue. Not as much. You could tattoo dreadlocks on your head. That's just weird. And that would yeah. hurt your skull rattling. Oh, that would not sound good. Mine's been rattling for <laughs> me too. Eight years eight and eight six years. days. Congratulations. And happy anniversary to me. Happy anniversary. Well, to my brain injury. You're alive. Yay. It's the seventh anniversary, right? Because the first one was the Eighth. inaugural. No, it's oh. the, technically it's the seventh anniversary. Oh, fuck. Get your new list, bro. Just, okay, bro. I thought we were going to talk about a lot of shit. I thought we were going to talk about inauguration I thought we were going to eat wings top pretty soon. We, here, are. So we are. Get cool. your so list, fucker. It. So... Born in the USA, this I'm just gonna, portion has been brought to you by Wingstop. I'm going to redact it now because it gives me another song then, and it's on everybody's mind. So yeah, I went, I started with that list and I went, I, women had a huge role rock wise Lee, from even from yeah. Lita Ford. I agree. Fucking Lita Ford. I thought Ford. of her. Yes. Lita Ford. Once again, Pat Benatar. I'm going to go early eighties because Pat Benatar, Patty Smith and Joan Jett were just, just always in there. Right. Okay. Hit me with your best shot. I'm just going to go. Let's just do Pat okay. Benatar. Hit me with your best shot. Okay. If it were his scan, it would be the warrior. Yes. Shooting. Uh, I love that song. Quarter you know Flash. I don't know. You don't know Quarter Flash? Oh, yeah. Quarter Flash. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But I love shooting at the walls of heart. Yes. Bang, bang. Great this is a great song. Yeah. So I'm, let's do that. Let's go with that one. Okay. But hit me with your best shot. But they're all like that, <clears throat> that energy, right? Yeah. Didn't want to do Crimson and Clover. Once again, it's Tommy James. Funny how Tommy James comes up in the 80s yeah. as 80s co- covers. And I think we're alone now, by the way, Tiffany. It was? Another Tommy James and Shondell song. Wow. Three fucking songs. That's what makes me think Tommy James is one of the innovate way back in the day because his covers, three covers, fucking knocked it out of the park. All three. Moni, Moni. Yeah. Crimson and Clover and fucking. You don't even think of Tommy James. You're like, no, Billy Idol did Moni, Moni. You think Joan Jett did Crimson and Clover. And you think Tiffany did, I think we're alone now. Yes. You don't ever think I didn't think know of, that that was a cover. Yeah. Great, oh, Crazy, right? Whatever. That chick. Yeah. Tiffany. I get Tiffany and Debbie Gibson confused. I know, but but Tiffany was in Playboy. She was? Yes. Debbie Debbie changed her name to Deborah and then back to Debbie, I think. I don't care about that. I need to go back to see Tiffany in the Playboy, Wait, though. Yes. She, she, I, I might even have it. <laughs> of course you do. Somewhere. Well, I'm sure the, the beer Googles has it. I mean, the pages are stuck together. But. Whoa. Well, it's been sitting in... In a garage in a hundred some degree for okay. eight years. Not because I experienced Tiffany. <laughs> Although it was it was Robin's Egg Blue when it came out. It was weird. Whoa. Is that weird? Uh, I'm not a doctor, sir. <laughs> Just, unless you count which doctor. Okay, so done. We got the first song. Yes, sir. Chick song. Now, I believe rap was big. Yes, agree. I keep vaseline. I have three main bands. Or three main artists that I would go to. Sugar Hill Gang in early. NWA in the middle. Beastie Boys at the end. Problem with Beastie Boys. How the fuck can you make white fucking Jews... How can you make Jews the poster child for rap music? You just can't. They did. They sampled. That was their thing. Paul's Boutique. Remember the sampling? Remember yeah. when they took... Oh, yeah. That? And they never paid those royalties. I'm a little stuck in the crawl on that one. They never... Because you don't... It, it was it was never talked about. Like you that. don't think that album was groundbreaking? It was, but they never paid the royalties out to the people they sampled. There's a but whole. But that's thing. not the question. The question no. is no, no. I know. What I know. Song. Yes. So we've got it's if it's if it's BC Re- Boys. Regardless, wait. Regardless, if if they're Jewish or they pay the fucking royalties, couldn't you say Vanilla Ice was a quintessential song of the '90s, and he sampled the fuck out of Queen? Yes, but. He was a fucking spoof. Like, a, he well, was a, he was not a spoof. He was a fluke. But that's not the question. Right. But that song was massive. No, I agree. I agree with you. But I can only pick one rap song from the 80s. Okay. I can only pick one. I'm stuck. We only have three choices. I man. understand what do you this. If I had five. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop apologizing. <laughs> me, me, me. Okay. Feel? <laughs> <laughs> um. So which one were we talking about? Okay. So it was <laughs> Fight for Your Right to Party. 
would be I I know, Ugh. but you've got Paul you've got Paul Revere. You've got girls. Yes. You've got Brass Monkey. Yes. Like, okay, Licensed Ill is the Huey Lewis it of is. rap of it, rap it, albums. It's the, it it's really the appetite for destruction. You can listen to it. Yeah, uh, yeah you can of course. Yeah, okay. yeah. So then NWA. Someone had NWA, so it might take me. I'm just going to go. You can't no, do your list based upon someone else's I'm list. I'm not. I'm going to innovate. I'm going to go with Apache Sugar Hill Gang because it was in the 80s and it started, it really launched rap. Rap was nothing until the very early 80s. It was different. Right. I mean, and then you could really go to NWA changing it. And then you could go to Beast Boys changing again. You could almost get three just there, you know. Um, Public but, Enemy. Public Enemy. LL and Cool J. I, and I have Public Enemy. LL Cool J is big. I would have had Public Enemy in the 90s, not because they weren't in the 80s, but Apocalypse Na- Apocalypse 90 and up was like their They're coming. Shit. They're coming of age. Yeah. Sure. So, yeah. okay, done with that. So two. So I'm going to go with... Sugar Hill Gang, Apache. I'm going to stick with that. Born in the USA, Sugar Hill Gang, Apache, and uh, Scandal with Patti Smith, the Warrior. Oh, yeah. oh, I thought you were going with Joan Jett. I changed it. Just no, now? no, no, no. From uh, I was going to do "Hit Me with Your Best Shot" yeah. with Pat Benatar. Oh. No, when we went over it, I like I like the Warrior better. Okay, so I'm going to stick with that. I, I I do too. That's a great song. So those are my three, but. They'll ever change. They change the second we turn this off. Okay, well, this is it. I mean, you only got... I know, we're done. I'll give you five more minutes to make a change. Okay, ready? Go. I'm done. Okay. I would like to say thank you for making our first podcast kind of fun. Kind of fun? It's going to be like... Are the rest of them going to suck? No. Is that what you're saying? No, no. (laughs) (laughs) We have to work on these camera angles because we're both turned away from the camera, and I don't think... Well, Well, I look at it. Oh, hi. I've been looking at it so, to see my ugly face. So we have, we technically are going to work on two types of podcasts, right? Yes, sir. Okay, we've got this one. Well, wait a minute. Uh, what? Do, yes, but you wanted to talk about songs that didn't make the list? Oh, yeah. Sorry. And you said bring up Motley Crue? Yes. Because it was going to remind Def you about some, some fucking leopard. Def Leppard didn't make a list. Who the fuck? That's the one that, did you see the look on my face when I said, yeah. Oh shit. Pour some sugar on me. Yes. Are you fucking kidding that me? That entire album. Well, hysteria. Yes. Paranoia. Paranoia. No, Paranoia hysteria. is 83. Hysteria. hysteria is 87. That yeah. was Duff, uh, Muff, Mutt Lang. They fucking yes. almost killed each other. Yes. But he made the he made them write like 80 fucking songs. They had like. And they put like 10 on. They had like six or seven you hit your head again. They had six or seven top ten hits off that album. Yeah. Well, just one Love yeah. Bites, which is horrible, but just right, one after another. You know, but women, fuck, animal, pour, pour some sugar, Armageddon. It. It just they Are just you get it. Just they just rolled it out. And it, yeah. Is it weird that they're not even on anybody's? It's fucking weird. List? Absolutely, it's weird. That's the one that popped out to me. You, I would like you to share the one that you came to me that with which you came to me. Okay. Anything else on Def Leppard? Uh, no, other than they fucking rocked it, man. Oh, they yeah. Were fucking, they, are, they are an 80s band. Oh, they're a hair metal band. They, they, absolutely. Quintessential 80s. Yes. Cross and they board. even, they had two other albums before Pyromania, which you could even Correct. say Photograph yeah. could have been. Photograph. That was That's what put them on the map. A rocker. You know? Put them on the That's map. still a yeah. great song, even though it's overplayed, which I know I've said it overplayed a lot. Even though that song. Everyone's heard a million times. Photograph still I, is a good song, and I still like hearing it. And that song came out in 83. And they had two albums before that in the 80s, On Through the Night, High and Dry, which are even better because they rocked more. So you could, yeah. two, you know, you could, you could look at it a couple different ways. So that, that's a great effort. point. Never even crossed my mind. And, and it, it took... It took your obscurity to really kind of bring it back. I'm like, who else? Hair, hair, hair. Bam. And then just something popped in, pour some sugar well, on Poison me. didn't make the list. Yeah, but we talked about Poison. Right. No one talked. We ta- we've we talked about a lot of bands. We didn't talk Def Leppard. Not one, one time. Correct. Not one single time. Correct. And they had a million. Well, they had a lot of they top had ten. 10 hits. They had 10 songs that you could, that are recognizable that were made in the, that were written in the 80s. Absolutely. 10. I, oh yeah, I, of whether course. they're hits or not, whatever you'd know them. Oh yeah, I could rattle them off right now. Right, but I probably couldn't. I probably get to like eight, five, but yes, yes. You named probably ten in our just conversation right there. Okay, who the one that stuck out to you and you told me? I nearly shit my pants, but then I thought of them as differently. So go ahead and share who that was, and we'll talk about that. Journey. That's a big one. Many people had Journey on their wedding song. You know, that journey you've had 
in I mean, obviously they've had a lot of albums, but in the eighties they had a lot of albums. They you know they were on MTV. I I loved Separate Ways because it was heavy. That's kind of what got me into them. Yeah, dun, but dun, 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 yeah, it, 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 it rocked. Yeah, it did, and I liked that. And Journey had Steve Perry. Shoving go. Yeah, he when was, he did his solo stuff, that raspy, and then obviously great. hurt yeah. his throat. Yeah, he he, he lost it for a while, anymore, right? And he came back. He just did an album. It's, oh, I didn't know that. Okay, uh, I'm not going to. Uh, it's questionable. Speak. Okay, I'm not going to buy yeah, it. It's I'm gonna, fine. No, I'm going to let someone listen to it and go. Oh, <laughs> yeah, don't. <laughs> Oh, sh- <laughs> no barfing, sir. Um, yeah. So, okay, well, that <laughs> one's done. Okay, that was an interesting but, one. Uh, no, like the faithfully lights go down in the city. Open arms. Yes. What's the don't stop? Some, don't stop believing. Holy shit! Another one just fucking came to me. Same fucking reason. Go ahead. Lead singer in excess. Oh yeah. The fuck. Do you remember? It's the one thing. The guy was playing that the keyboard my, against the wall. That's my favorite In Excess song. Because it's at the airport. Remember they're in the airport hangar and they're setting up in, their equipment? No. Ding, ding, it's the ding, one thing. Ding, ding, no. Ding, it's ding, ding, the one is thing. Is that that one? It's the one thing was they're on the dinner table in a white oh, room eating like shit. oysters and tons of food. That was their yes. first video that made it really big. I thought that was the one where the guy played the know, keyboard they, ma- on the I don't remember the, wall, the keyboard And it was part. the coolest thing. But the one thing was the dinner could, scene. It was a long white table. Might be a different band. That sucks. But I'm the one thing is one. my favorite In Excess song. That's a great song. And most people don't know that song. Most people know Never a bunch apart. of other Never songs. Tear Us Apart is... It's you very good. Ask me. I mean, you can make it orchestral. Like if, if you just took an or- orchestra and played that, Oh yeah, seamless. Yeah, 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 seamless. Of course, it's perfect. I mean, it was written for that, right? That was that was one that just popped in my head. In excess is an '80s fucking band. Oh yeah, totally. And then the guy died. Like Hutchins died in probably '90, early '90s. I don't know when he died. God, I know. Uh, yeah, he I know did. He, I know he killed himself, and his sister just as he was jerking off. I think also uh, just I, just another side. I don't. Think that's I, true. I'm, I'm sorry. Scientifically masturbating. Yeah, it was autoerotic was it? Oh, yeah. I know. Okay, I th- yeah. I, knew, I thought he committed suicide. It wasn't Cornell done. Oh, sorry. Um, his Orchester. His sister just wrote a, a book about him. Came out last year. Okay, I that's my it. understanding. I could be wrong. <laughs> it's the it's a great book. I haven't read it. Full I didn't say it was a great book. No, I know. I know. I did earlier about the stand. And oh, didn't read Ork. Sorry. I'll have to look that up. I don't even remember the stand. I apologize I just... too much now. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> So those were two really, or two, a handful that really were omitted. Is yeah. there anything else on top of your head? I'm sure there's five or five or 10 artists or bands. Or eight, I, I was told, it's funny, Prince wasn't on any list. And I didn't rule out Prince as being, hey. Not yet? I didn't say, I said Madonna, no Madonna. Or no Michael Jackson. No Michael Jackson. No Wham, George Michael. That's yeah, what I even, said. But, but Prince, Prince is bigger right than Wham. There. Yes, nineteen ninety nine, Faith, Red Corvette, blah 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 blah. But Faith is like that's a great fuck, song. It's so good. But nobody picked Prince, and Prince was not on the. Prince was not yet. said not. Was not you omit- can't pick Prince. Yeah, it was not omitted yet. But I should have said no Prince because he was massive. He was. Fuck. I would die for you, Purple Rain, Little Red Corvette. What's the bathtub one? Doves cry. Beret. Doves cry. Doves cry. Was the bathtub? Yes. That one I I don't I don't like Prince at all, but I I do like the 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 Doves Cry one. You know, Purple Rain, Purple Haze, yes, is in my brain. <laughs> Lately, things just don't seem the same. Sorry. I was going to call it the Mark Poles experience. Purple Rain, go. Uh, no, Purple Rain just it is the quintessential end. It's the closing song of all cover bands. Is it? Much. Just think about it. But it's not that causing, and it's just like everybody's just in sync, and and everybody's kind of it's dying down. But don't you usually want to end on that song's a little slow for an opener or a closer, don't you think? It's a good closer because everybody's drunk at two o'clock. It's one forty-five. The lights just got turned on in the bar, and you need you need to be mellow. You can't get in a fight. You can't have energy like fights. You're not gonna play Rage Against Machine in the third set. Why not? Um, I heard it yesterday on the golf course at seven thirty a.m. Well, that with my very good friend smoking weed. That's when you have it playing Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> that's, that's when you it was play fantastic. It. Isn't that beautiful? That's when you play it at seven thirty a.m. or first set when you drop down the D right before you in the first set or second set. Drop, drop down D. Something about Gorilla Radio. <laughs> we need more cowbell for three years. Had that up his ass. For three years. 
I can't even do a good fucking walk. That was walk really in. good. It was awful. I, I fall through it. It's like, I get it. I, get, I hit it for like two words, and then I go this way. And then I come back down, I hit it again. So I'm always kind of. Why don't you just stick? He kind of did it like this for three years. I can't not, see. I already missed it. I already lost it. Can, may I make a suggestion? Please. Stick with check mark. Check mark is very, very successful and very popular. I agree. I like him a lot. And How about very comical? Don't tell me no lies and keep your hands to yourself. Georgia sure. Satellites. How come George Thurgood George didn't Thurgood, make I was list? just that was what when you said it is get a haircut. When you said advice, I was, thought yeah. you were going to do that to me. One bourbon scotch, one beer. Oh, great song. God, damn. But everybody would pick that other song. Bad to the bone. Yes. I. You know what? That would be interesting. What song that didn't make the top 10 Billboard ever defines the 80s? Like, what? An Emotion. Oh, yeah. My Obsession. Yeah. I don't know. I think that may hit number one, though. It might have. Well, it may have in the Lips UK. Incorporated. Remember Lip Sync? I do not. But OMD. <gasps> the list goes on and on and on, dude. Okay, your OMD song is the, the popular one, right? I love all OMD songs. Stand Above Me is my favorite OMD song. If you Google... It's so hard to find it. If because you, you stand above me. I don't, well, I don't girl, remember. No. Exactly. I, I beer Googled OMD because they were coming in. They were opening for like Berlin and um, B-52. Yes. And I the thought... And I thing. knew OMD from, I know, probably five of their songs. And then I saw their songs and I was like, oh my God, I know all of them. Yeah. Like, holy crap. And they made a couple of movie soundtracks. Obscure, obscure, they did. Just so, like Oingo Boingo. Yeah. Weird Science and... Well, that was a Dead Man's Party and Weird Science was in Weird Science, weren't they? Weird Science. They were, but they, they were both. also in Back to School. Right. But those, they played... That was Dead Man's Party, the Halloween correct, party, right? Correct. And Weird Science. And Weird Science. Was, they weren't in Weird Science. No, 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 no. But they, they played the, the song. Correct. Right. Weird Science. Yeah. God, what a fucking great movie. But Dead Man's Party was Back to School. Oh, my God. We... We could do this for pretty much everything, but I don't want that to be. I don't, we talk about so many fucking subjects. Like we can't just be centric. We're just have to sprinkle these in every once in a while. I, I agree. About I love that. you, man. Love you too, bro. I want to tell you that I'm grateful. Before we end this, like I'm really grateful because without you sitting here right now, I'd still not be doing this. Stop it. No, dude. I. How many years? Seriously. How four? many years? What? Have I been working on this? Three years? Uh, yeah. Three years? Oh, for God. three years, I've been trying to make this, this podcast. This room has been up three your ass for three years? <laughs> up my ass. This this microphone, <laughs> up my ass. Three years. How does it smell? <laughs> did you just, did you Lysol wipe me that shit? Well, I didn't, I didn't you make it my microphone. Oh. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> it's so... His microphone. Not that one, that one. Over there. It's, it smells okay. Does there's does it taste it taste like ice cream? There's no uh, corn mm. or uh, it's a little dry. Um. Okay. Don't ever do that again. Yeah, that was just, that was kind of pornographic. Oh. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. Don't make the sound. Stop it. <laughs> that video is gonna be fucking awesome. Oh my god! <laughs> I think we need to end on that. No, but on a serious note, for just one second, I love you, man. And without you doing this, like, I'm just not a good self-starter. I've got, obviously, we've had every duck in a row for so many. All the ducks. So much time. Every duck was in every row. All of, yeah. It was like, it was like bingo. Horizontal it was diagonal, like a bunch of stormtroopers. But even they were backwards. Ducks. Like, the word search backwards. Yes. It was like, even like that, they were in a row. Whoa. Backwards. But I'm grateful. So, thank you. You're welcome. Um, we don't know what we're going to talk about next, but I'm sure we'll talk about it. And we're going to send this to our friends. Please subscribe. To our YouTube channel? Yes. Of the Beer Googles? Said. Yeah. I need to do a Beer Googles channel, by the way. Beergoogles at gmail.com. I need to look. <gasps> Shit. Oh, never mind. This is recorded, so it's not like it's out there. So someone's already. Got it. You know, while we're talking. I understand. That would suck. I was just listening to your typing skills. You do a good. You do some. You know which one I do? <laughs> I like the iPad one, though. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's very good. You sound like a South Park character. I'm sure. That I Ethiopian do. kid they kidnapped. Oh, Click Clack? Yeah, sure. I don't All know right. his name. <laughs> I'm going to pay for that. <laughs> oh, my God. 
That's what but you should I, call this. But but honestly, that. as racist and as stereotypical as we are, we're not really racist or stereotypical. Isn't that weird? It is and now, weird. And now we hear mumbling in the background. I believe that's our cue to get some wing stop yes, thrown sir. on the grill. I love you, bro. Love you Can too, we bro. hug it out on some camera? I'm going to hug it out over there. But I love you. Love and too, then bro. we're going to uh, exit with our exit strategy music in three, two, one.